All right, Simmons, I'm gonna show you where we keep the baddest of the bad inmates. Solitary confinement. There's no food, there's no electricity, there's no hope. Well, what do they eat if they don't have food, sir? They eat cockroaches and rats and whatever else they can find on the ground. Okay, so this is our first inmate, Bubbles. What's up, beautiful? Back away from the bars! Oh, wait, you afraid to get kissed, huh? Don't kiss him, Simmons. I didn't plan on it, sir. One kiss from him and you'll fall in love. Yeah, welcome to my love chamber! Come on in! Come on, Simmons, let's go. What, what, come on, kiss me! Kiss me! Come on, come on. All right, Simmons, follow me this way. Oh, no, hurry up, hurry up! All right, Simmons, this next inmate is the worst of the worst. Her name is Nancy. Can I see what she looks like? Oh, of course you can. She's a caged animal. Hey, Nancy, get out here, you old bag. N Nancy? She's coming. N Nancy? N Nancy, D don't make me come in there and pull you out. You're making me look bad. <laughs> Nancy, you old kook. Just one second, Simmons. Nancy, you're pissing me off. Let me come and grab you. Nancy? Nancy, you better be dead in here because you didn't answer me. What? Oh my god! Oh no, she escaped! Simmons! Simmons, sound the alarms! Nancy escaped! We got a cold red! Lock down the prison! Go, go, go! <laughs> Today's gonna be a good day. Let's see what we got here. She's perfect. Uh, let's go get some kids. Now where are those kids at? Hmm. Maybe some musical help. Oh, kids! Where are you, kids? I got some free candy for you, kids! Ugh, I did it. I finally escaped. And on Jeffy's 18th birthday. Now all I gotta do is kidnap him and get my millions of dollars. Now where the hell am I? Ugh. Oh, God. I'm so glad to finally be out of that prison. Oh. oh shit, it's the cops! Wait, wait a minute, that's not the cops. Maybe, maybe he'll give me a ride. Woohoo! Oh, yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo, big boy, can you give me a ride? I don't think he's stopping! Stop! Hey there, baby. You really shouldn't stand in the road. I almost hit you. Can you get me a ride, big boy? No, I only take kids. Oh, really? Well, there's a kid I need you to help me take. Sorry, I work alone. I'll give you $50,000. <laughs> That'll buy me a lot of candy. Get in. Chief, Chief, Chief! Don't worry, guy, I didn't forget today's your birthday. <gasps> Chief, you remembered my birthday! Happy birthday, guy. I didn't know it was your birthday, mate. Yes, Simmons, today's my birthday. At least somebody remembered. Well, happy birthday! That's too late now. So what were you gonna tell me, guy? Huh, I don't even remember, I'm just so happy now. The prisoner escaped! Oh yeah, the prisoner escaped. <gasps> Chief, the prisoner Nancy escaped from solitary confinement. We locked down the entire prison, but she still somehow got away. Damn it, guy, how could you allow this to happen? Sir, I don't know what happened. She dug her way through concrete. I don't know how, it was like some Shawshank Redemption shit. Damn it, guy, you better bring her back dead or alive or you're fired. Sir, you can't fire me, today's my birthday. Then I'll wait till tomorrow and then fire your ass. Well, you can't fire me, cause I quit. I'm just kidding. You know I need this job. Come on, Simmons, let's go find him. All right, Marvin, is this good enough? I think we need a few more balloons. A few more balloons? I bought all the 
balloons from the store. I just want to make sure that Jeffy's 18th birthday is special. <gasps> Marvin, this looks amazing. You did this just for Jeffy's birthday? You know me. I love Jeffy, and I want to make sure his 18th birthday is the most special birthday he's ever had. That's so sweet, Marvin. Jeffy's going to be so excited. Hey, Chef PB, can you go to the store and get 50 more balloons? 50 more balloons? I'll get your stupid balloons. Now leave me alone. I just want to make sure that Jeffy gives me money. I mean, I want to make sure that Jeffy knows I love him. Marvin, you're not doing this just because Jeffy's inheriting millions of dollars from his dead father, are you? Jeffy's inheriting millions of dollars from his dead father? It completely slipped my mind. Oh, really? I'm being serious, baby. You know I love Jeffy. I mean, it's his 18th birthday. Marvin, come on. Just let him enjoy his special day. Baby, it is our special day because he's turning 18 and he can move out of the house. Marvin, we're not kicking him out of the house on his birthday. It depends on how much money he gives us. Marvin! Oh, listen, let me go wake up Jeffy because it's his birthday and let me get his king crown. King crown? Hey. Hey. My snore in Russian. Jeffy, hey. wake up. It's your birthday. Really, Daddy? Yeah, Jeffy, you're 18 years old. <laughs> Yeah, that too. So how about you take off that bunny suit and come downstairs? But what if I don't want to take off my bunny suit? Then leave it on. You can keep it on all day. Really, Daddy? You never let me leave my bunny suit on all day. Well, it's your birthday, so you can do whatever you want. And look, for breakfast, I got you candy bars. <gasps> candy for breakfast? Daddy, you're being really nice to me today. Well, you know I love you, Jeffy. I wouldn't be doing it for any other reason. And look, since it's your birthday, is there anything else you want? Strippers. But you want one? Yeah, with big yummy cans. Well, I'll call one up for your birthday party, which is downstairs. Whoa, I got a birthday party? Do I have chocolate and cake? Of course there's chocolate cake, buddy. <laughs> So how about you go downstairs? Wait, wait, wait a second. You're now king of the house. I totally forgot you're king of the house. King of the house? So here is your birthday crown. You can tell people what to do. Oh, well then I banish you to the dungeon. Well, don't banish me yet until you see how cool your birthday party is. Okay, let's go see it. Come on. All right, I'm gonna take off my bunny suit and put my birthday suit on. Well, don't get naked. How about you just take the bunny suit off? Come on. Here it is. Here's Jeffy's cake. All right, Jeffy. Here's your birthday party. <gasps> Daddy, look at all your balloons! Wait, uh, Chef Baby, where's the 50 extra balloons? They were sold out! I just got a cake! Wait, go get some more balloons! Go find some! Drive 100 miles to go get some! Get I'll some. find the balloons! Go get some! It's Jeffy Daisy's birthday party! I want it to be special! <gasps> Daddy, this is the coolest birthday ever! It's a birthday! Fit for a king! Yes, Jeffy, and look at all your presents full of expensive items, and maybe one day you'll repay us like today. Marvin! Which one has the stripper in it? Uh, she's on the way! What? That's what Jeffy wanted for his birthday party! No, Marvin! Hey, Daddy, since I'm 18 now? Can I throw this glass cup against the wall and shatter it? I mean, I'd rather you didn't, but if that's what you want to do on your birthday party, then go for it, buddy, but please don't. Hmm. I've suddenly grown out of childish behavior. Wait, really? No. Oh, uh, you know, that doesn't even make me mad because it's your birthday party, so just go go crazy, Jeffy. <laughs> There's someone at the door. Stripper? Wait, no, not yet. I, I'm about, I'm, I'm, she, uh, it's your friends. Oh, my friends. Jeffy, your friends are here. Happy birthday, Jeffy. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday, dude. This party's so crazy. Thanks, guys. Look, I'm a king. Oh, wow, that crown is so cool. And you're 18 years old. That means strippers. Bye. Yeah, you can also vote now. What? Well, he can. You can also buy an assault rifle. Gun laws are so crazy. I'm going to hide when you turn 18. See that house right there? Yep. That's where the kid lives. What does he look like? He's got a blue helmet and a yellow shirt that says Jeffy on it. You can't miss him. It's his birthday, so he's probably got a party going on. All right. What I'll do is I'll just go up to the house and pretend I'm there for the birthday party. And when I see him, I'll grab him and bring him back to the van. Good thinkings. So, Jeffy, what are you going to do for your 18th birthday? I might eat cake, I might stick my wiener in an amp pile, the possibilities are endless! I'm really digging your LGBT birthday napkins, super homo. Yeah, super, dude. Thanks for giving us a shot. No problem, Cody. <laughs> Jeffy, there's someone at the door. Stripper? Maybe. Hello? Hey, I'm here to see the birthday boy. We didn't hire a clown. Well, someone did. Who? Listen, man, I don't ask questions. I just do what I'm told. I'm here to eat cake, make snake balloons, and snort blow. Uh, I mean, a, a clown would make Jeffy's birthday party really cool. It sure would. So come on inside. Planned on it. Jeffy, there was a special guest at the door. Was he the stripper? No, it was a clown. No, wait a minute. I can strip too. Stop that. We don't need that. Oh, yes, we do. Keep going. Stop that. What? Just focus on making animal balloons. Oh, darn. I left my balloons out in my van. 
Which one of you kids wants to come out to my van with me and get the balloons? Ooh, I will. No, I really think the birthday boy should come with me. No, the birthday boy needs to stay here and open his gifts. No, I really think the birthday boy should come out to the van with me. No, get one of the other kids to do it. Listen, bub, I'm taking this kid with me whether you like it or not. No, you're not going to talk like that. I didn't even hire a clown, so you need to leave. Just get out of here. Come on. Oh, rats. Go on. Get, get out of here. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, 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 listen. What? I'm sorry. Get out of here. Oh, damn it. I got to get that kid. What What happened? Where's Jeffy? He didn't want to come to the van. His dad said no. What, why would you tell him about the goddamn van? Nobody's willingly going to get into a van that says free candy on it, goddammit. Listen, he's yelling at me. You're yelling at me. It's hurting my feelings. Well, what are we going to do now? How are we going to get Jeffy? No, hold on. I'm thinking of something. Well, think faster. Oh, you know what? I got it. Hold on. I'll be back with the kid. Jeffy, are you ready to hit your piñata? I have a piñata? Yeah, it's waiting for you outside, Jeffy. Oh, I'm about to whack that shit. A piñata? That's so crazy. All right, kids, everyone outside to hit the piñata. Yay! All right, Jeffy, hit your piñata and make all the candy come out. Shouldn't he be blindfolded? No, it's Jeffy's 18th birthday, and we want to make sure he gets all the candy, so hit it, Jeffy. Stand back, everyone. Yeah, because I'm about to go ape shit on this horsey. Take this horsey! Ah! No! Oh! 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 All right, here's the kid. This van is so crazy. This lollipop hurts to eat. What? Who the hell is this? Where's Jeffy? I thought this was the kid. No, I said blue helmet, yellow shirt. Oh, I thought you said blue shirt, no helmet. What, what are you, knocking futs? This is the wrong kid. It is? Yes, now we gotta kill him so he doesn't tell on us. Why would I tell on you? This van is cool. <sighs> okay, listen, kid. You get out of this van and you run and you don't stop running. Okay, I love running. Well, what do we do now? Uh, okay, since you can't do it right, I have an idea. Now pull the van around in front of their house. All right. All right, kids. Did everyone get some candy? Yeah! All right, Jeffy. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put candles on your cake and sing you happy birthday. Can you sing me happy birthday 18 times since it's my 18th birthday? Yeah, Marvin. You did say anything for Jeffy's birthday. Uh, I mean... 18's a lot of times. You sure you want 18? Yes. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll sing it 18 times. And can everyone dress up like me? But why would we dress up like you, Jeffy? Because it's my birthday and it would be fun if everyone dressed up like me. <sighs> All right, everyone. Go put on a yellow shirt and a blue helmet to look like Jeffy, I guess. Come on, baby, let's go dress up like Jeffy. This is the coolest birthday ever. Everyone loves me. I can't believe I'm doing this. I look ridiculous. Baby, hurry up. Aw, Marvin, it's just too big on me. Baby, it looks like a dress. Look, we have to dress up like Jeffy to make him happy on his birthday. You really want that money, huh? But baby, I already told you this isn't about the money. I would do this for anyone on their birthday. You would do it for me on my birthday? Well, I mean, listen, baby, it's not about the money. Breaking news, okay? World-renowned painter, Jacques-Pierre Francois, the famous painter we all presumed was dead, turns out he's actually still alive. He faked his death to make his paintings more valuable. I have an exclusive interview with him now. All right, everyone. I'm here with the now-alive world-renowned painter, Jacques-Pierre Francois. So tell us, Jacques, why would you fake your own death? Uh, you see, paintings are worth more when the artist is dead, and I was drowning and gambling debts. So I fake my own death, and now my paintings are worth millions. Extraordinary. But how did you fake your death? You jumped off the bridge and we saw the splattered remains on the canvas. Oh, that was quite simple. All I had to do is push a pig off the bridge, and when it splatters on the canvas, the body was unrecognizable. And I bought that painting for $200 million, and now that you're not dead, that painting's not worth fuck! That is, as you Americans say, too bad, so sad. I'm gonna slap that stupid little pipe cleaner mustache clean off your stupid face. Don't hate me, because you ain't me. Well, what about your son? He was supposed to inherit your multi-million dollar fortune. Ah, uh, yes, the boy. Listen, son, if you are watching this, look into the camera. Look at your papa. Fuck off. Well, you heard it here first, folks. I'm out $200 million. I will now celebrate my millions by eating one of your American hamburgers from the McDonald King. Oh, wow, Marvin. Good thing it wasn't about the money. Otherwise, you'd be really upset right now, huh? He's not getting any of the money! I'm taking a Jeffy off and I'm the cake away and pop it out of the balloon! And you said it wasn't about the money! Of course it was about the money! You think I would take care of it for years for free? Marvin, we love Jeffy! I don't, you might, but I don't. I definitely don't. He's got so much hell in my life, he's broke stuff, I want him gone! Jeffy would be really upset right now if he heard the awful things you were saying. I'm very upset for the things I heard on the news. I thought we were going to get money, baby. I thought we were going to be paid. That wasn't even your money. That was Jeffy 
Please, money. I thought he was going to give us some. I thought he was going to be like, hey, hey, Marvin, uh, sorry for screwing your life over the last few years. Here's a, here's a quick milli. It's quick milli cash. You honestly think Jeffy was going to share? Yes, I thought he'd give a shit. I, I am so mad. I'm going to go throw his cake away. I'm taking that damn king crown off his head. I'm only singing him happy birthday once. Marvin, you're going to sing happy birthday to him 18 times on his birthday. Let's go. No, the only 18 thing that's happening is how old he's turning because he's out of the house. No, We're, Marvin, you don't mean that. We're kicking him out of the house. You think I'm going to deal with him for free? He's not going to live with us till he's 30 or 40. I'll kill myself. Listen, I am going to go tell Jeffy that he is gone when he leaves his house. Uh, we, we can sing him happy birthday once, but I'm taking that crown. We're gone. Stop right here. Stop right here. All right, what's the plan? Okay, we're going to roll the windows down, and then you're going to play some silly music so the kids think you're an ice cream truck. And then when the kids come out to get their free candy, you're going to grab Jeffy, and I'm going to jump in the driver's seat and speed off. That's a good idea. I wish I would have thought about that. All right, roll your window down. Free candy, kids! Okay, Jeffy, we're dressed up just like you. Yeah, even Ken. Oh, that's sick. It's like I'm Gru and you guys are my minions. We got to get the girl another unicorn toy. You guys hear that? It sounds like an ice cream truck. Ooh, ice cream? I want ice cream. Mother effing ice cream truck! This birthday is the tips. Let's go. Guys, I can't believe it. A free candy van. What a dream come true. I hope they have Starburst. Ooh, they better have Snickers, dude. I want M&M's. Guys, doesn't this seem a little suspicious? How? Well, it's a white van with free candy spray painted on it. That's like typical kidnapper stuff. Cody, nobody kidnaps people anymore. That's illegal. Yeah, there's cameras everywhere, dude. Yeah, nobody's gonna go to jail for kidnapping. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. I guess you guys are right. This isn't sketchy at all. Cody, Let's just go get our free candy and shut up. Oh, here they come. All the kids are coming. Good. Now you tell the kids they have to go to the back to get the candy, and then you grab Jeffy and I'll speed off. All right, get it. All right, Jeffy, let's hurry up and sing happy birthday, and then you're getting the hell out of the house. Where Jeffy? Where's Jeffy? Where's all the kids at? Uh, uh, Marvin, I couldn't find any more balloons at the store. Don't yell at me. I don't care. We don't need any more balloons. Wait, seriously? Well, you wanted balloons earlier. I don't care about this party. I don't care about these balloons. We don't need anything. Thank God. Do you know where the kids are at, Chef PB? Uh, I think they're outside at the ice cream truck getting ice cream. Ice cream truck? Yeah, you don't hear it? What? Uh, we want candy. Yeah, do you have Skittles? Oh, do you have three musketeers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have all the musketeers and mouse tools. So just if you want candy, meet me at the back of the van. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Guys, this is getting worse. How? He wants us to meet him at the back of the van. Yeah, that's where he stores all his candy. You see how big this van is? Oh, dude, just shut up. Oh, okay, but if somebody gets kidnapped, don't come crying to me about it. Come on. Candy, 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 candy. Who wants candy? We do. Oh, please look for the sneakers first. All right, let me see if I got it. No, nope, no Snickers. Aw, oh, man. What other candy would you kids want? Uh, do you have Starburst? What, what, what the? Hey, hey, what are you doing here? Just go away, Jeffy. Nope, no Starburst. Aw. You have circus peanuts? Let me check. Hurry up and grab them, damn it. All right. They all look the same, though. What are you kids doing, uh, Jeffy? All you kids go inside right now. Hey, I got, oh what are you God, doing? Oh my God, look at me. Ah, I don't fight with you. I'm a There, all the candles are lit. I can't believe we didn't get any ice cream. Or candy. I don't even think they had candy. Jeffy, are you ready to blow out your birthday candles? Yeah, are you guys gonna sing happy birthday to me 18 times? Of course, Jeffy, but wait, where's Marvin? Oh, he was outside and he yelled at us to come inside and said we couldn't have any candy. Oh yeah, he's in a bad mood, Jeffy. But he's been in a good mood all day. I know, but I think he has a headache or something. Are you ready to sing happy birthday to Jeffy? Yeah. yeah. All right, ready? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Jeffy, happy birthday to you, again, again, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Jeffy, blow out the candles! Oh. Yay! So, Jeffy, did you like your birthday today? Well, you guys had me in the first half, not gonna lie. 
But the second half blew major donkey balls. What was wrong with the second half? Well, for starters, all the presents downstairs were just empty boxes wrapped with wrapping paper, and Daddy ran away. Well, you know, Jeffy, I think your dad's going through a midlife crisis today. Today? Of all days? Maybe he's at the store getting you real presents since your gift bags were empty. We can only hope. Well, do you want to watch some TV, Jeffy? Ooh, well, since I'm 18 now, can we watch naughty shows? I'm talking full frontal. No, Jeffy, let's watch the news. Uh. Breaking news, okay? A prisoner in a maximum security prison has escaped. Please be on the lookout for this woman pictured here. Her name is Nancy. Real mommy is game from prison? Uh, Jeffy, let's watch something else. Nudity? No, Jeffy. Mommy, what if real mommy comes and tries to kidnap me? We wouldn't let that happen. You promise? I promise. Okay, good. Um, now where's Marvin? I'm gonna give him a call. Nipple time! Jeffy, change the channel. Mommy, look at these rocking cans! Jeffy, change the channel now! See Bobby! Hi! Jeffy, stop it! Oh, he didn't answer! Well, he's missing a good show. Jeffy, I'm changing the channel. No! <sighs> okay, let me see Jeffy. He's right here. He is mommy. Wait a minute. What? what are you guys doing? Let me go! This isn't Jeffy. Sure it is. See the blue helmet and the yellow shirt? No, no, no. This isn't Jeffy. This is somebody else with a blue helmet and yellow shirt. <sighs> Listen, this is too hard. Can we try something easier? Wait, wait. You're Jeffy's mom. Wait a minute. You're the bozo who put me in jail. Well, no, no. You put yourself in jail, but I had nothing to do with it. Okay, look. I don't want you. I wanted Jeffy so I could take his millions of dollars that I rightly deserve. Well, good luck getting that money because his dad's not dead. He's actually alive and he's not giving Jeffy any of the money. <laughs> nice try. You really expect me to believe that? Wait, it's on the news. Just turn it on. Yeah, right. You'll say anything to get me to let you go. No, I have a better idea for you. I'm going to hold you hostage until Jeffy gives me that money. He doesn't have the money. Well, if he doesn't give me the money, you're dead. <laughs> hey, can I use your phone? Sure. I got to call his family. All right, what's Jeffy's number? Jeffy's number? Why do you need his number? Because I'm going to call Jeffy and you're going to tell him you're kidnapped and that you're going to die if he doesn't give me that money. He's not going to believe me. Well, we're going to try anyway. Oh, okay, his, his number is... I'm changing the channel, <laughs> Jeffy! No, you're not! I've waited 18 years to watch shows like this! You're not going to take this from me! You can wait a little longer! Wait, wait, wait! My phone's ringing. Maybe it's Marvin! No, it's not my phone. Yeah, it's my phone. Yo, you have reached the plug. Please, Shibby. Shibby. Go on, talk. Uh, Jeffy, it's, it's me. Say Shibby. What? Say Shibby. Uh, Shibby. Wait, what was that? Was it some kind of code? No, he told me to do that before I talked. I, just say what I told you, damn it. Uh, 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 hey, Jeffy, it's, it's me, Marvin. Uh, I was kidnapped. Sorry, wrong number. What? Who was that, Jeffy? It was some salesman trying to sell me a car's extended warranty. But you don't have a car. Exactly why I hung up on him. Aw, you're so smart, Jeffy. I don't know. What'd he say? Uh, he thought it was a wrong number. Oh, damn it, make him believe you or I'll shoot you in the head. Oh, yeah, call my wife, call my wife. Okay. Hi, 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 Jeffy, hi, hold hi, on, my hi. phone's ringing. It's a blocked number, hello? Talking no funny business. Uh, hey, baby. Marvin, where are you? Why are you calling from a blocked number? Oh, it's a long story, so I got- Oh my god, are you calling from a side chick's phone? What side chick would I have? Listen, baby, look, I'm kidnapped, and they want millions of dollars, so can you- Marvin, is this your sick way of trying to make money because Jeffy's dad really isn't dead? Wait, he's not? But baby, no, I'm not trying to make money. I, I can't believe you abandoned Jeffy on his birthday. You're a deadbeat dad. But no, I'm kidnapped. I didn't abandon- I guess just come home whenever you feel like it. Hang up. Okay, what'd she say? Uh, she thinks I'm a deadbeat dad and I left Jeffy on his birthday. Oh, God damn it! that's it, I'm killing him, get my gun. Oh, no, 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 don't get the gun, oh, okay, how about one of you call him, because you guys have scary voices, so who has the scarier voice? She does. Yeah, okay. Mommy, is my real dad really alive? Yes, he is, Jeffy. Well, I want to meet him. No, I don't think you do. Just don't watch the news. No, I want to meet him because I bet real daddy wouldn't leave me in my own birthday party. I don't know about that, Jeffy. Wait, my phone's ringing. I bet it's Marvin. What do you want, Marvin? If you ever want to see Marvin again, you'll give me $5 million. Wait, this isn't Marvin. No, it's not. And if you ever want to see Marvin again, give me $5 million. What's going on? Okay, I kidnapped Marvin, and if you want to see him again, you will give me five million dollars. But I don't have five million dollars. Well, then I guess you're not going to see Marvin again. What, should I kill him now? No, don't do that. Um, I'll just call you back in five minutes. What? 
okay. Wait, but uh, you called from a block number, so I don't have your number. Oh, yeah, hold on. Uh, what, what is your number? Mine? No, the guy who's tied up. What's his number? What? No, I was being sarcastic. Yes, your number. Well, then you should have said something. You should have said, hey, Screwball, what's your phone number? Hey, Screwball. What? What is your phone number? 555-555-5556. It's... It's all fives with the six at the end. You can't screw it up. Okay, I'll, I'll call back in five minutes, okay? Jimmy, your dad's been kidnapped! Which one? Uh, Marvin! Oh, well, good. He deserved it. He left me at my own birthday party. Oh, I'm gonna call the cops. What'd they say? They're gonna call me back. But if they don't call me back in five minutes, I'm killing you. Uh, oh, they're gonna call back. Hey there, somebody call the cops? And I brought backup, because in case you haven't heard, there's a goon on the loose. And she's a real rascal, that goon. So have you seen any goons? What about you, kid? You look like you've seen a goon or two. That goon kidnapped my husband. It's the woman that escaped from prison that was on the news. I'm sorry, what? The woman on the news that escaped from hey, prison. See, see, I just distinctly didn't hear you say happy birthday to the birthday boy. Oh, is it your birthday today? Nobody loves me. I'm so sorry. It's just, it's my son's birthday today, so. Oh, yeah. God, I hate people who have the same birthday as me. I wish they'd all die. Can we focus here, please? This woman kidnapped my husband. She's asking for $5 million or so she's going to kill him. Wait, you were contacted by the woman who escaped from prison? You hear that, Simmons? We have a lead. We have a lead? We have a lead. So where is she? I don't know. She called from a blocked phone number. A blocked phone number. We lost the lead. We lost the lead. We lost the lead. But she did give me her phone number. She gave you a phone number? She gave you a phone number? She gave you her phone number. Okay, great. So we can just call her. So we can just call her. So we no, no, can... Simmons, Simmons, stop. Stop singing. It's starting to piss me off. Okay, so we can just call her and hear her demands. Yes, but I already told you her demands. She wants $5 million or she's going to kill Marvin. Hey, listen. You've never met a negotiator like me. I can get that price way down. You should have seen me get my Hyundai Sonata. I got them to take five grand off the sticker. Oh, man, it was great. Hey, you, you want to ride in my Hyundai Sonata? No, please, can we just focus and no, call this on, woman? No, come on, you gotta take a ride in my Sonata. Come on. There she is. That's my baby. It's very nice. Now, can we it please... It is very nice. I insist you take a ride in her. No, that's not necessary. Can we please oh, go call... Oh, it's very necessary. When you feel the seats are going to be in heaven. I'll take your word for it. Please, oh, let's go call. Oh, you don't have to take my word for it. Come on, let's take a ride. Ugh. Oh man, I love being in this car. It's way more comfy than the cop car, which I have to go get in soon. Yes, this car's very impressive. Now can we please this go back? This car has so many features. Like, check this out. You're gonna love this. You know what that is? That's a blind spot camera. So if some little brat tries running up on me while I'm turning, I can see him. It's very convenient. Can we go back inside yeah, and, I and call? Yeah, I got all of these features for a steal at the Hyundai Sunday sales event. I'm so happy for you. Can we please go call Jeffy's? I Jeffy? think we should take a quick little ride around the neighborhood. No! Yeah, come on, come on, you'll love it. Oh. oh, man, how lucky are you? You got to ride in my Sonata. Not a lot of people get to do that. Not even my daughter, you know, because she eats crackers and the crumbs get between the seats. Oh, big mess. Can we please? Huge mess. Can we please? And then you got to get in there with a vacuum, and that takes forever, and it's Can loud. we please? And then you got to pay the vacuum with quarters, and that just sucks. Can we please call the woman now? Oh, yeah, we can call it. Just hold on. <sighs> it's ringing. Hello? Hey there, ma'am. I just wanted to let you know that this is the police and you're going to jail, bitch. <laughs> Say hi, Simmons. Hi, Simmons. No, Simmons, you're supposed to... Just call her a bitch. Bitch! You hear that? That's my buddy Simmons, and he's gonna kick your ass. I sure am! Yeah, he'll hit a woman. He doesn't care. I don't care! He doesn't care. Oh, no, you're not, because I got a hostage. Oh, man, I hate when they have hostages. What do you want? I want five million dollars. You're gonna meet me in the field. Y you know the one. Oh, yeah, of course I know the field. It's the field. It's the one field. You're gonna meet me in the field in an hour with five million dollars and Jeffy, because I want to say hi to him. Uh, okay, okay, but, but hear me out. How about three million dollars? No, it's five million dollars or I kill this guy right now. Oh, damn, you're not playing, so I don't get the Hyundai Sunday sales event price? No. Uh, okay. Simmons, when we get there, we're gonna shoot her in the face. And no weapons! Oh, come on, that's not fair! So do we have a deal? <sighs> okay, stupid. I didn't get anything out of that phone call. I'm sorry, mate. What did she say? She wants us to meet her in the field in an hour with $5 million and Jeffy. But we don't have $5 million! Yeah, I know. So when she gets there, you and I are just gonna tackle her. I mean, it's two against one, and she's had no weapons, so I think we can take her. Yeah. Come on, Jeffy, let's go see her. So what's happening? We're gonna meet the cops and Jeffy in an hour to trade you for the money. Yes, Screwball? Why would we meet with the cops? Wouldn't they just shoot us? No, because I told them no weapons. Oh, that's smart. But guess who's gonna bring their gun? Who? Me! Well, that's not fair. Shouldn't you tell them so it's fair? No, I don't care if it's fair. Come on, we're going. Okay.
Okay, Simmons, I'm assuming they're in the van that says free candy on it. Oh, mate, you think we can get some free candy? I don't think they have any free candy, Simmons. Well, why would they put it on the van if it's not true? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's so they can kidnap people. But that's illegal! I know, and that's why we're gonna arrest them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out of the van and we're gonna play good cop. We're gonna be like, hey, we got your money, and then bam, we whoop her ass. And then we save Marvin, we get the key to the city, and the chief is gonna give us promotions. Sounds good, mate. All right, Jeffy, you stay here. All right, bitch, we're here. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, right, no, Simmons, I'm not all right. I closed the door in my hand. Did Ow. they go to the hospital? No, we're doing this. Hold on. Okay, look, we brought your money, and we didn't bring any weapons. <laughs> well, I did bring a weapon, so show me the money or I'm going to blow his head off. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's, That's not, not fair. fair. We said no weapons. We were going to beat your ass. <laughs> you really thought I was stupid enough not to bring a gun? Now show me the money, or I'm going to shoot him and all. <laughs> well, you see, it's actually kind of a funny story because we didn't bring the money because me and Simmons thought we could beat you up. All right, that's it. I'm killing him. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't shoot him. We, we have Jeffy in the back of the car. You wanted him, right? Okay. Hand over Jeffy. Uh, Jeffy, could you come out of the car? Hey, Mommy. Jeffy, run. Hey, Jeffy. Mommy missed you. Now come to Mommy. Go. <laughs> hey, at least we saved Marvin, right? Go on, Jeffy. Oh. Well, you're not gonna let her take Jeffy, are you? We don't have any weapons, bro. I don't know what you want us to do. Hey, Jeffy. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay, since you didn't bring my money, I'm taking Jeffy with me. And whenever you want to stop playing games, maybe we can make another deal. Come on. Oh, Daddy, help me. She took him. She really just took him. I mean, hey, at least you don't have to deal with him anymore. Well, I know, but like, I don't want anything bad to happen to him. Why? What do you care? You were always complaining about him anyway. Well, I know, I just, I still care about him. Yeah, I mean, look on the bright side. At least it's a nice day for it. You know, it's not too hot, not too cold. You know, if my kid were to get kidnapped, I'd want it to be in weather like this. True. What are you guys gotta do something? Go out and chase the van! We can't do anything, man! We don't have any weapons, and she has a handgun. She could shoot all of us! Wait, mate, don't we have a sniper rifle in the trunk of the car? Oh, yeah, we do have a sniper rifle in the trunk of the car. Okay, Simmons, I want you to camp out somewhere. Get up in one of these trees and shoot out her tires. On it. Okay, Marvin, me and you are gonna chase that van down. Come on! Let's go! Ugh. Someone's gonna die today. All right, Marvin, you're about to see how I drove on my driver's test when I was 16. Poorly. I'm trying, man! Man, she is driving like crazy. I guess I can add reckless driving to the list of charges. You know, I can make corny cop puns because we're in a police chase. Let's just focus on the road, okay? <laughs> Jeffy, I'm sick of you. I never loved you. You were an accident. After I get my money, I'm gonna kill you and bury you in the deepest hole I can find, and then I'm gonna kill your other fan. Daddy, help me! Ram her! You should ram her! Okay, I'm gonna do a pit maneuver! Yeah, go! Wait, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Wait, what's going on? Oh, shit! What? I ran out of gas! I ran out of gas? Well, she's getting away! Can we get more gas? Hmm, I don't see any gas stations in this fucking field, do you? Well, no, but she's getting away! It's up to Simmons now. Simmons, I need you to shoot those tires out right now! I'm on it, mate! Oh, still, you bastard! Uh, Simmons? You are only supposed to shoot the tires. Whoops. Jeffy's dead. Uh, uh, uh d -d dispatch? We, we, we need we need an ambulance and a fire truck. Just, just, just all of it. Get out here now. Marvin? Oh my god, Marvin! Thank god you're okay and no one was hurt! Ooh, uh, Simmons, I think we should probably leave. Why? This is about to be really sad. Marvin, where's Jeffy? Uh, he's, uh... He's not coming back, baby. What do you mean he isn't coming back? Where is he? His, uh, his, his mom took him. No, she didn't. Marvin, we have to go back there. We have to go get him. Get the cops. No, he, he, he's dead, baby. He's dead? What are you talking about, Marvin? Listen, the mom took him in the van and the van exploded and Jeffy died in the explosion. Exploded? No, no. 
happened? Jeffy can't be gone. No, he just can't. He can't. He, you go get Jeffy. He's dead, baby. He's dead. But, but it's he's not Murphy. coming back. He's not coming back. Marvin, no, it can't be real. This is this isn't happening. It's his birthday today. Marvin, no. I know, I know. He died, baby. I know. I should have been nicer to him. I, I just can't believe this is happening. I know. I know. It's I, our baby boy. I know. We should have. I should have been nicer to him. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have been mean to him on his birthday. I'm no, sorry. If, if I had a chance, I'd say sorry. I, I, I wish he was here right now. No, Jeffy. <laughs> oh, man, Simmons, I feel bad. But you must feel way worse, because you fucking suck at shooting. This was entirely your fault. It was a moving target, mate. Gas cap? Tire. Big difference, Simmons. But they're both round. <sighs> okay, Simmons, let's just go. I just wish Jeffy was back. I know, baby. I miss Jeffy, too. <laughs> I wish I could just hear him do that annoying uh, sound one more time. <laughs> Marvin, that was a really good impression. What? That wasn't me. I thought it was you. What? Don't be sad, Danny. It's not like you had to walk 50 miles in the dark getting eaten by mosquitoes on your birthday. Well, Jeffy, you're alive. Oh, my God. Yeah, I jumped down in the back of the van before it exploded. What? what? Yeah, this is what happened. Uh, hey, we're almost out of gas. Then find a gas station. Uh, With Jeffy, uh, Jeffy, no, Jeffy, Jeffy. Uh, Die, bitch. So that's what happened. Thank God you're home, Jeffy. Yeah, we love you so much, Jeffy. <laughs> well, it's not like every day you kill your mom on your birthday. Well, Jeffy, listen, I know you're 18, but you don't have to move out of the house. You can stay here as long as you want because I can't imagine life without you because I've gotten so used to you. I know I know, I was mad to you today on your birthday, but that was just because I thought we were getting money, but I don't care about the money. I, I just want you, Jeffy. I love you so much. Aww. Well, love you too, Mommy and Daddy, but I didn't plan on going anywhere. <laughs> Who's at the door? Hold on. Hello? Hey. What, what are you doing here? I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. Well, I thought you died. You were driving the van. No, I heard a gunshot and I got scared and jumped out. Uh, hey, we're almost out of gas. Then find the gas station. Uh, well, Jeffy, uh, Jeffy, no, Jeffy, Jeffy. Uh, gunshots, I'm out of here. So, do you accept my apology? Well, get out of here, I don't want to see you ever again. I'll call the cops right now. Who was at the door, Marvin? It was one of the kidnappers. What? I already called the cops. Hey there, you call me? Oh, hey, you're not dead. How the hell did that happen? Oh, listen, listen, one of the kidnappers at the door, he survived. Oh, hey, that means nobody died today. Well, actually, I shot my mom in the face before the van exploded. Oh, okay. Well, with the explosion, there's no trace of the body. So that means no paperwork from me. And that's the best birthday present I could ask for. This video is about me. It should have been called Brooklyn Guy's 45th birthday. No balls, name it that. Hoes, hoes, hoes! Merry Christmas! What do you want for Happy Honda Day? Jeffy, what are you doing? Well, I'm dressed up like Santa Claus. I'm trying to figure out what you want for Christmas. I don't want anything for Christmas. Christmas is lame. Marvin, don't be such a Grinch. Christmas time is forgiving. Yeah, dang. Tell me what you want. I'm dressed up like Santa Claus. Jeffy, Santa Claus isn't even real. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? He's not! You're 17 years old, Jeffy! You have to find out eventually! Marvin, don't tell him that! Baby, he's 17 years old! Marvin, fix it! <laughs> Fine, Jeffy! Santa Claus is real! Then prove it! Prove it? I haven't had to prove it before! Marvin, just take him to the mall so he can sit on Santa's lap! Baby, it's 10 o'clock at night. The mall's not open! Well, then hire someone to dress up like Santa! <laughs> well, if you don't prove that Santa Claus is real, I'm gonna poke my eye! Wait, don't poke yourself! In Ow! The Stop it! Ow! Stop it! Ow! Jeffy, Ow! I'm about to call Santa! Ow! I'm about to call Santa Claus! You have Santa Claus? His number? Yeah, I have his number. I'm gonna call him right now. <gasps> Can I talk to him? But no, he's not allowed to talk to kids. Why? Did he get into legal trouble? He, yeah, he did. Listen, I'm gonna go call Santa Claus. I'm gonna invite him over here to talk to you. Okay. Come on, hurry up, answer the phone. Hey Marvin, what do you need? Hey, can you dress up like Santa Claus and come over? My kid wants to meet Santa. <laughs> Me? Dress up like Santa? No, 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 see, that wouldn't work, because I'm in too good a shape. See, Santa's supposed to be fat, and I'm not. I'm thin. I look amazing. Nobody would believe that I'm Santa Claus. I'm too hot. Okay, well, do you know anybody that can dress up like Santa? Oh, uh, well, I do have this one friend who's been looking for work and could really use it. Does he look like Santa? Oh, he looks exactly like Santa. Uh, it'll be perfect. When you see this guy, you're going to say, that's Santa Claus. It's like his twin. Okay, then bring him over right now. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay, thank you. All right, baby. I got someone to dress up like Santa and come over tonight. You did? Yeah, I'm gonna tell Jeffy. All right, Jeffy. Santa Claus is coming over tonight. Really? Yeah, really. Is he gonna bring his reindeer? What? 
No, he's gonna Uber. The, the, the reindeer are training for Christmas. Oh, for the reindeer games. Yeah. Where they're gonna laugh and call Rudolph names. Mm hmm. Like shithead. With Jeffy! Or period nose. Jeffy! Do not use that language around Santa or he's gonna put you on the naughty list. Oh, that must be Santa. Let me go answer the door. Hello? Hey, this is my buddy Vic I told you about. What's up? I'm Vic. You said you had a friend that looked like Santa. He does look like Santa. He looks like a criminal. Well, I mean, he did just get out of prison. Prison? Oh, well, yeah, he was in there for about 15 years. Yeah, 15 long years! Oh, looks like Santa spilled! Oh. No, no. I, I, looks like Santa spilled, though. You're gonna have to clean that up, bud. Okay. I'm not hiring him. Oh, come on. It, it, it's not that bad. He's harmless. Harmless? What'd he go to jail for? Well, I mean, nothing serious. Just some Grand Theft Auto, aggravated assault, third degree murder. Third degree murder? That's right, third degree murder. Th thir third degree. Just third degree. It's like the least bad kind of murder. Uh, I'm sorry, I got that confused. It's first degree murder. <laughs> and I don't even feel bad about it. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Uh, I'm, I would not, I'm not gonna hire him. Oh, come on, really? He You're not gonna hire me? Oh, he's not gonna hire me? Gonna You're hire not gonna hire me? I will crush your windpipe if you don't hire me! He's gonna, he's gonna I will crush you! You're gonna hire him? Oh, you, you, got, you got the job, buddy. I got the job! I got the job! Oh, okay. Well, let's go meet some kids. Oh, but before you meet my kid, can you please put a shirt on? Oh, no, 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 no. Vic, Vic doesn't do shirts. No, no, no. No, no, no. He, says, he, says, he says shirts make him feel constricted, like he's back in prison, and that makes him mad, and he breaks things and kills people. I will break a windpipe if I have to wear a shirt. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, no shirts, I guess. No shirts. Uh, hey, elf, bring me another beer. Here you go, Santa. I, I'm his little elf. Hey, so what the hell's going on over here? I need to get paid. I got a meeting with my pro officer after this. So where's this kid at? Uh, Jeffy, get in here. Oh, <gasps> Santa Claus? Yeah, kid, I'm whatever you want me to be. Marvin, who the hell is this? Uh, it, it's Santa Claus. Uh, Jeffy, why don't you sit on his lap? You come here. I don't want to sit on his lap. Why if he has a big wiener? You don't got to worry about that one, kid. Wait, what the hell is that? Th those are his jingle balls. But Jeffy, just sit on his lap and tell him what you want. Oh, okay. What do you want for Christmas, kid? I want your Gucci Xbox. Yeah, we'll get you that one. We'll get right on that one, kid. Yay, Gucci Xbox. Yeah, no, I need you to get out of this because I need to get paid. Okay. All right, so I need to get paid now. Put it in my hands. I need the money. Well, how much does he need? Uh, I don't know, like 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 like, like twenty bucks. No. What more? Uh, uh fifty? A mm. hundred bucks? A hundred bucks. Yeah, it'll right? work, kid. Uh, let, me, let me find a hundred. Oh, okay, here it is. <sighs> Pleasure doing business with you, kids. Well, uh, okay, let's see. Well, uh, oh. that, that, that's, yeah. Uh, this is my house. <laughs> Not anymore, kid. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll, I'll see you later. Just please get out of my house without breaking anything else. I guess I'll get out of here then. See you, nerds. I'm never calling you again for help. I understand. Yay! I'm getting a Gucci Xbox! Marvin, I need to talk with you. Uh, okay, uh, Jeffy, can you go to your room? Yeah, I'll go make room for my Gucci Xbox. Marvin, how could you invite that man into our house? He looked like a creep! I know, baby, but if I didn't hire him, he was gonna strangle and kill people. What?! Oh, look, 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 baby, look, all that matters now is that Jeffy got to meet Santa and he's happy. Yeah, but what was that thing Jeffy asked for? He asked for a Gucci Xbox. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Okay, I'm gonna grab my laptop so we can look it up. Oh my god. What, Marvin? That Gucci Xbox that Jeffy wants, it's $10,000! What? We can't afford that! I know, why would he ask Santa for that? Marvin, what are we gonna do? We're just gonna have to tell Jeffy that Santa ran out of Gucci parts at the North Pole. Marvin, we have to get him that Xbox, otherwise he won't believe in Santa! Oh, oh, oh look! That, that's where I told Santa Claus I wanted! That's the Gucci Xbox! Yeah, yeah, we, we just wanted to Google it to see what it looks like. Yeah, and for your record, if I don't get that, then that means Santa Claus isn't real, and then I'm gonna scream, and I'm gonna poke my eye. So. Oh, what, what, Jeffy, Jeffy, Santa Claus is gonna get you that. He's gonna get you that exact one. Alright, well, I'll be back in my room. <laughs> I don't know, I choked. I, I was under pressure. Look, 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 look. We, we will figure something out. We can just get him a regular Xbox and write Gucci on it in Sharpie. Oh, no. Hey, man. What do you want? Well, uh, listen, I, I felt kind of bad that Vic conned you out of a hundred bucks, so I got him to do something that I think you're really going to like. I don't want anything from him. No, no, no. You're going to love it. It's great. So, in about 30 seconds, Vic is going to break in through your window and pretend to be Santa Claus delivering presents. That sounds like a terrible idea. Why would you tell him to do that? Well, come on. It'll be really cool, because then, like, your son is going to see him, and he's going to think Santa Claus is delivering presents. No, don't let him do that. Stop him. I don't want him to do that. Uh, too late! That's him! Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh! It's Santa Claus here to deliver the presents! You do know impersonating a Santa Claus is punishable by death! Well, 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 we meet again, Santa Claus! Oh, I thought I'd put you away for good! You should have killed me! Maybe I will!
If you strike me down, I'll probably die. That's the point. Wait, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago, Santa Claus. Enough of this! That 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 didn't sound good. Uh, just, just just stay right here. Oh no! Oh no! Vic, oh, what's no. going on in here? Uh, look, man, I don't know. I just snapped. I don't know. Oh, oh my God, Vic! You you killed Santa Claus! Look, when I was younger, I never got the gifts I wanted as a kid. So when I saw him, I just snapped. Okay? Vic, 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 where the hell did you even get a lightsaber? Look, I keep that thing on me at all times. Oh, Vic, you're gonna go away for a while. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, oh, Vic. Uh, oh, Santa Claus! Santa! Santa, are you okay? Do I look like I'm okay, boy? I have a tree crushing my windpipe! I have seconds to live! No, no, Santa, don't say that! What am I gonna tell the children? Tell them Santa's dead! He has died a violent death! No, no, Santa, but what are they gonna believe in now? Uh, Hanukkah or something. Ho, ho, ho! No! You boys better find out who killed Santa Claus. It's a damn shame what happened here. The kids of the world will be devastated. Hi, mate. Who do you think killed Santa Claus? I, I, I don't know. Why would you even ask me that? I don't know. I, it's not like I'm the kind of person who would like know the kind of person who would kill Santa Claus. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, mate, look at this. I found a beer bottle, and it's got saliva on it. We should test it for DNA. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, I mean that, that, that could be anybody's beer bottle. I, I mean, it could, could be mine. Why would it be your beer bottle at this crime scene? But, but because I, I have a drinking problem, and I like to drink, and I come here to drink sometimes, so it's probably mine. Oh, well, I'm still gonna test it for DNA. No, 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 Simmons, Simmons! <clears throat> Damn it. I need to warn Vic. Hey. What was all that noise? So, uh, Santa Claus is dead. Santa Claus is real? He's real dead is what he is. What do you mean Santa Claus is dead? Well, Vic kind of snapped. Like, he snapped Santa Claus's neck with a Christmas tree. What? Well, Vic killed Santa Claus? Yeah, he did. Well, go arrest Vic! I can't do that. Why do you protect this Vic guy so much? Oh, well, listen. Me and Vic are childhood best friends. He always had my back growing up, you know? Like, when kids would give me wedgies, he'd cut their hands off. And if they gave me swirlies, he'd drown their entire family in a lake. That kind of thing. Honestly, I'm just kind of scared of him, and I don't want to do that. Oh, you have to go arrest him. You can't leave him on the streets. He's dangerous. No, no, no. Look, I don't even want to talk about it anymore, okay? Everybody's happy. Your son's happy. He get to meet Santa Claus. We're all happy. Well, I'm not happy. My son wants a $10,000 Gucci Xbox for Christmas. Well, then just tell him no. Be an adult. Tell him that's an unreasonable thing to ask for. Look, Santa's dead. That should make it easy. I guess you're right. Oh, the news is on. Breaking news, okay? Santa Claus has been killed by an escaped convict named St. Vicholas, also known as Vic. There's a $10,000 reward if you have any information on Vic that will lead to his arrest. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, you guys wouldn't. Uh, wouldn't what? You wouldn't rat out my friend for $10,000. Well, look, we really need the money. Look, Jeffy wants a Gucci Xbox. Oh, come on, don't rat Vic out just for an Xbox. He's got a good heart. Well, actually, he has several good hearts in his fridge because he sells human organs on the black market. Well, you said that he got out of jail after 15 years, but the, the news says he's an escaped convict. Well, yeah, he escaped after 15 years, but he was only supposed to serve six. Six years. Six life sentences that he was convicted of. It would have been more, but they couldn't find where the bodies were buried because he ate them. So, so please don't turn him in. Well, oh, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We won't turn him in, right, baby? Of course not. Yeah, we won't turn him in. But I, I have some more jobs for Vic to do. Really? Yeah, really. Oh, thanks, man. It means so much that you're willing to help out my friend like this. What do you need him to do? Well, my toilet's clogged. So do you think he can come unclog my toilet? Oh, yeah, he's great at that. Oh, thank you so much. I'll go get him. I'm gonna call the cops. Okay. Uh, another cop. Okay, so just stand right there and wait a few minutes. All right, are you sure Vic's coming? Uh, yeah, he's coming. So once you arrest him, I get $10,000, right? Yep. All right. <gasps> that's him, that's him, that's him. Uh, hello? Hey, I'm here to unclog your toilet. None of those are toilet plungers. Uh, I can make it work. Uh, come inside. Hey, I really appreciate you hiring me. No one really likes to hire a guy who murdered someone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where is your new arrest? What? You, you set me up! Uh, oh, no, 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 all right, here's your $10,000 for ratting out Vic. Thank you so much. All right, baby, we can finally buy Jeffy that Gucci Xbox now. Yay!
Hey, how'd Vic do? Oh, you did not. Oh, uh, no, we didn't get that money by renting out Vic. Oh, well, where'd the money come from then? Uh, oh, slinging the leg. Fairy. Which is it? Both? Uh, yeah, yeah the, the, the Tooth Fairy slings leg, and I'm her pimp, and that's my cut for the month. Oh, that makes sense. The Tooth Fairy's pretty hot. So, uh, you think I could get an appointment with her? Huh? huh? Do I have to lose a tooth first, or how's that work? Or does it happen during? Is she a freak? Uh, no, I'm so sorry. The Tooth Fairy's all booked up for the month. Oh, that sucks. Well, could you put in a good word for me next time you see her? I mean, I'll put a tooth under my pillow to get in bed with her, you know what I mean? Hey, I'll put in a good word for you, buddy. All right, thanks, man. I'm gonna go call Vic and see how he's doing. Oh, no, 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 don't call Vic. You heard what happened to Vic, right? No, what happened? Oh, yeah, the, uh, uh, uh Elon Musk is sending him to Mars. And, yep, yep, yeah, he is. Yeah, Vic is gonna be the first guy on Mars. Wow, that's great. Good for Vic. I'm so glad he'll finally be remembered for something good instead of killing Santa Claus and all those other people. Yep, yep, so don't even try calling him because there's no cell service in space. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go home. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Let's go buy Jeffy this Xbox. Okay! Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Jeffy! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Are you ready to open up your gift? Well, it better be a Gucci Xbox, or else I'm gonna lose my shit! What, what, just open it, it might be that. Alright, let me see. A Gucci box? I didn't want a Gucci box, I wanted a Gucci Xbox! Well, we'll open up the Gucci box, there might be another prize in there. Alright, let me see. It's a Christmas miracle! Santa Claus is real! Marvin, do we tell him that Santa died? No, 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 no. let's just enjoy Christmas. You sit right there until the judge can see you. I'm not talking until I get a beer! You thought you can get rid of me? <laughs> Remember kids, be nice, not naughty. Tonight. Oh, dude, let's throw rocks at cars! No, Joseph, you idiot. It's dark outside. How would we even see the cars? They have headlights, dude. Well, that's more of a morning activity. But I always sleep in. I'm a miss it. Well, you have to get up pretty early in the morning if you want to throw rocks at cars. Oh, fine. So, guys, what do you want to do at night since it's dark? Ooh, 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 ooh. I know, I know. We should watch a scary movie, and then whenever I get scared, you can hold me, and then kiss me, and then caress me, and then just kind of see where it goes from there, man. I think we should just turn on the TV and see if we can find something fun to watch. Okay. Hey there, do you love french fries? Well, a new McDonald's location is opening up, and if you're the first customer in line, you can win free french fries for a year! Whoa! Free french fries for a year? Dude, that's a lot of fries. I'm homeless. It'll feed me for like a whole year. Guys, 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 we should totally go to McDonald's right now to guarantee we're the first people in line. Oh yeah, dude, let's totally do it. Cody, you coming with us? No. What? Why? Come on, dude. I just don't really like french fries that much. Oh my god, Cody, are you literally the lamest person I've ever met? I think so, dude. Are you Dr. Lame? In the flesh. Cody, why don't you want to wait in line with us? Well, it just doesn't seem worth it to wait in line for hours just for french fries. It doesn't seem worth it, Cody. We could make so much money from this. Listen, listen. What are french fries made out of? Uh, potatoes. What are mashed potatoes made out of? Potatoes. What are baked potatoes made out of? <sighs> potatoes. So we can go to McDonald's, get our french fries, right? Our free french fries, and then we can go turn them into baked potatoes and sell them. Wait, you can't bake fried potatoes. Oh, okay, Cody, then fine. We, we'll, we'll go to McDonald's every day and get a hundred free orders of french fries, and we'll go around driving around and we'll sell them. What, no one's going to want to buy cold french fries from your car. Well, we'll turn the heater on. Well, they're, they're still going to be stale and gross. No one's going to want them. Cody, we'll literally be a McDonald's on wheels. But, uh, yeah, a McDonald's that only sells french fries and nothing else. Well, that's the only thing people want is french fries. That's why they're giving them out for a year. Yeah, it's not like they're a burger place or anything. Okay, come on, Cody. At least come stand in line with us. Okay, look, I'll tell you what. I will stand in line with you, but as soon as I get bored, I'm going home. So what are the odds that you, like, stay the whole time? Zero percent. That's not happening. I like that percent. Yeah, the odds are in our favor, dude. All right, guys, let's go to McDonald's! Yeah, let's go! Guys, I can't believe it! We're first in line at McDonald's! Oh, dude, I can't believe it either! We're actually first! I can't believe it. Really? You can't believe we're the first people to wait in line all night just to get french fries? Cody, stop being a pout-pout fish. Yes, yeah, sour coward. What, what the hell are you talking about? Cody, you're being all sad and mopey. Do you not understand we're gonna get free french fries for a year? 365 days, dude! Yeah, that's enough fries to fix your eyes. Fries that'll tie your tie. Fries that'll stop your cries. Fries that'll keep you from being shy. Shies? Uh, it was close, dude. Really, guys? Is this what we're gonna do for eight hours? Just make fry rhymes? Okay, we, how about we play I Spy? I Spy with my little eye. 
He's wearing glasses. He's a dork. He's ugly. Well, okay, you know what? I didn't even want to come here. You're right. It was you. Oh, he's good. Okay, fine. You know what? I have one. I spy with my little eye a colossal waste of my time. Your life? What? No, no. Okay, I have another one. I spy two idiots who are wasting their night just to wait for french fries. Oh, that's us, that's us. Oh, he's good. Yeah, that's right. You win. Okay, oh, wait, Joseph. What? Stay right here. Well, why, dude? I want to be first. Well, no, no, no. I want to be first. No, no, no. It was my idea, so I get to be first. No, I was first first. No, no, no. I want to be first. No, dude, get in my get, spot. Get where you belong. Wait, what do you mean by that, dude, huh? Because it was my idea, so you got to be right there. But no, you white people always think you're better than us. No, huh? no, it's my idea to get french fries. You can't, you don't even want french fries. No, you know what? Screw your fries. I'm out of here. Dude. Well, good. Leave. I don't want you here anyway. Now you. What? Don't you dare try to skip me. I'm not going to skip you. I don't care. Are you sure? Yes. Don't you try it. I'm not going to try it. I have the high ground. I don't care. What? <sighs> How much longer do we have to wait? About eight hours. Damn. Yeah, damn. I know. Eight hours? Yeah. I'm starting to get tired. You want to go home? No. We need to be first in line to get the fries. <sighs> I'm not yawning. I'm just... Oh, my phone's ringing. I don't hear anything. Uh, it's on silent. But then how did you hear it? Uh, hold on, Cody. Chef Peepee's -Pee calling me. I have to answer it. It might be an emergency. Hello? Chef Peepee? -Pee? Yeah, it's me, Junior. What's wrong? You sound upset. What? 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 Why are you yelling? You need me to go home right now? But but I'm at the McDonald's waiting in line with Cody and... Uh, really? Right now? Okay, let me tell Cody. Jesus, I hope you have Apple Care. Oh, uh, look, Cody, I have to go home right now. But why? Be because Chef Pee needs me to clean the entire kitchen because I spill apple juice everywhere. Junior, if you're leaving, I'm leaving. No, 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 you have to hold our spot in line. Someone might take it. Junior, no one's going to take it. Look around. There's no one for miles. Well, look, there might be a guy in that bush over there, and as soon as we leave our spot, he's going to come take our spot in line, and then he can get all the free french fries. Junior, I'm pretty sure nobody else even knows about this damn french fry deal. Look, Cody, just, just take, just hold, just wait right here for five minutes. If I'm not back in five minutes, you can leave. Really? No, 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 I need you to wait the whole time. But look, look, just give me an hour. Or two. But an hour or two? Jesus, Junior, did you spill a whole uh, orchard's worth of apple juice? What's an orchard? It's where they grow apples. What? But it's, yeah, that's what. But look, just make it quick, okay? Oh, wait, just wait right here. Do not leave. Don't leave the spot in line. I'll be right back, okay? Just, just wait right here. Don't leave no matter what. Even if someone tries to take a spot, don't leave. Hurry up! Where the hell is he? Oh, come on, Junior, it's been hours. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna call him. Come on, Junior, answer! Hello? Junior! Huh? What? To Junior! Wait, what are you doing? What are you. Cody? Yes, where are you? Is it French fry time? What? No, it's not French fry time! Wait, then why did you call me? B because I don't know where you are! You were supposed to be back hours ago! Oh, I'm. Uh, I. Uh, I'm still cleaning the orange juice. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Earlier you said it was apple juice. Huh? W when you said you had a mess to clean, you said it was apple juice. Oh, yeah, it's both. W what? Yeah, it was, um, it was. It was apple juice, orange juice, grape juice. It was a whole, it was a bunch of fruit juices. Uh, Jun Junior? What? What, Cody? What do Jun you want from me? What? what where, where? Where are you? I'm. I, uh, I'm. I'm cleaning up the mess. Well, hurry up and come back. Okay, just give me a few minutes to get up from the ground because I've been wiping up the juices so much with napkins. Hold on. Speaking of napkins, Chevy, can you give me more napkins? Damn it, Junior, you, you took all the napkins. You don't know we can't afford napkins. <sighs> Junior, that's the worst Chef Pee Pee impression I've ever heard. What are you talking about, Chef Pee Pee? Listen, Cody, listen. I'm, let me just get up, okay? Uh, why do you keep saying get up? I'm tired from cleaning, and I took a quick, a quick nap on the floor. A nap? I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Do not leave the spot, okay? I'm on my way right now. I'm getting, look, I'm running. Uh, you don't sound like you're running. <sighs> I'm out of breath. J Junior? Huh? Junior! I'm in the car. Y you're not in the car. I'm going through a tunnel. I'll there are no tunnels on the way here. J Junior? Junior! J uh, J Jun uh. Hey, Cody, how you feeling? I think I'm dying. Man, I had the best sleep of my life in my nice warm bed. Yeah, I bet you did. What's wrong with you? I've been standing here for 12 hours, Junior. I'm exhausted. No one tried to skip you, right? No, no one else cares. No one else is even in line. Can you please just take my spot so I can go home? But I really have to go pee. Well, why didn't you just go at your house? Because I didn't have to go then. Look, what? I'm gonna go pee in that bush over there. Well, why can't you just wait for them to open and then you can use their bathroom? When are they gonna open? Uh, any minute now. Look, I'm gonna go pee in the bush. Just, just wait right here. You've been waiting all night. You can wait one more second. <sighs> just hurry up. Congratulations, boy! You're the first one at McDonald's! Uh, uh, me? No, 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 actually, my friend Junior over there peeing in the bush, he, he was actually first. Well, you're the only one here, so you get free french fries for a year! 
But no, J Junior was actually first. Well, get a picture with me, boy. Come here. This boy loves his McDonald's. I, I don't actually like it that much. But Cody, you stole my free french fries for a year? But no, Junior, I tried to tell him that you Why, you thief? You thief, you stood here just so you could get the french fries. You knew how much this meant to me. Well, Junior, I don't even want your damn french fries. We're not friends anymore, fatty. Well, Junior, come on. Well, boy, how does it feel to get all those french fries? Well, you know what? It actually feels pretty good. I, I want the fries now. God, I hate Cody so much. Some friend. Junior, you're being ridiculous. Cody, go away. I hate you. Why? Because I waited 12 hours in line for you to get your stupid fries? No, because you took my spot so you could be the first customer. I didn't take your spot. You had to use the bathroom. You made me have to use the bathroom. Wh how? You put some weird voodoo witchcraft spell on my bladder that made me have to go pee at bad times. What, Junior, do you even hear yourself? You sound insane. Cody, you took my spot and you took my french fries. Look, I don't even want the fries. Take the stupid card. No, I didn't earn them. But yeah, we all know that. I'm the one who waited 12 hours in line. You take that back. What What are you talking about? That's just a fact. You know I couldn't wait in line. Chef Pee needed me to clean the whole house. Okay, I know that's bullshit. What, what did Chef Pee tell you I wasn't actually cleaning? But no, he didn't have to. Oh, look, Cody, listen. I don't want those stupid dumb fries because you stole them from me and I want to be able to call you a thief. Well, okay, fine. Then I'll just take the one free medium fry a week for myself. What? Oh, you didn't know? You don't get unlimited fries for a year. You only get one free medium fry a week for one year. So it's not all you can eat french fries? Nope. That's gay. Yeah, I know. But that's what you get, and I'm going to take it. Well, no, no. Actually, I, I want the fries. No, 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 no. You said you didn't want the card, so now I'm going to take it. But it's only one free medium fry. You might as well just let me have it. No, and it's going to be the one best free medium fry of my goddamn life. Well, Cody, God, I hate you. Hey there. Is this your friend? That's Joseph. Yeah, I caught him throwing rocks at cars. <laughs> Specifically, my car was yelling, take that, you stupid pig, in F12. Joseph! Dude, I told you I was gonna do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him off with a warning this time. I'm in a good mood. Stupid pig. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Did you get your fries, dude? No, Cody stole them from me. What? Yeah, yeah. Me and Cody were waiting in line at McDonald's for the french fries, and Cody was like, I want to go home. I don't want to stand here anymore. And I said, Cody, calm down. I'm about to get my french fries. And then out of nowhere, I start hearing, it was a baby kitten in the middle of the road, and there were cars coming. So I said, Cody, wait right here. I'm going to go save this kitten. And I ran, and Cody was like, no, don't save the kitten. Let it die. And I said, I'm not going to let this kitten die. So I go in the middle of the road. I grab the kitten. I dodge a semi-truck. I dodge another truck. <gasps> and then I jump, and I toss the kitten into a pile of feathers. And, then, and the kitten survives. And then I get back in line, and Cody had stolen my french fries. They thought he was the first customer. What a conniving little bastard he is. Yeah, Cody saw friend, huh? huh? Hey guys, check out my free medium fry for the week, and I didn't even have to pay for it. You know, because it's free. You kitten killer! What? What's he talking about? Cody, how's your medium fry? Oh, they're so good. Hold on, let me just get one. Oh, 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 oh yummy fries. Oh, was it worth the life of a kitten, though? Wait, what? I don't understand this kitten thing. Somebody needs to explain that. Just worry about your stupid french fries, Cody. Yeah, why did you only get one, though? Oh, you didn't tell him? Oh, you don't get unlimited fries. You only get one medium fry a week for a year. Wait, you can't get all the fries you want? Nope. Huh, gay. Yeah, that's what Junior said. Yeah, just don't worry about your stupid fries, Cody. We don't want to be your friend anymore. Okay, fine. I'll eat my fries, and I'll see you guys next week with my next free medium fry. <sighs> I hate Cody so much. Yeah, I do too. Okay, Joseph, what Lego set should we build now? Um, I'm not sure, dude. Hey, guys. Whoa, that's sick. Cody, what Lego set should we build? Uh, this one, the Pod Racer. <laughs> now, this is Pod Racing. <laughs> you remember he says that in the movie? Wait, I'm confused. That's Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. And that's Padme. Uh-huh. And they get married? Yeah. But he's a little kid. Yeah, I know. It's weird. She's a grown woman. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. How does that work? I, I don't know. It's kind of gross. Wait, where's your free fry? I thought it was Friday. Oh, it is. But I decided to give my free fries this week to my hot date. Ken? No. Oh, it's someone else. Get in here. Hey, guys. What, Penelope? I thought you were dating Ken. Oh, I am. But what? I can't take Penelope on a free medium French fry date? Cody's getting me free French fries. Medium French fries. Can I get a drink, too? <laughs> no, I didn't get free medium drinks every week for a year. But what if my mouth gets dry? Well, you can quench your thirst with a free medium French fry. Okay. You're so lame, Cody. Yeah, well, that may be true, but I have free medium French fries for a year. Come on, babe. Let's go. Let's go with this one. Okay, Joseph, what game do you want to play? The Oregon Trail or Cubert? Um, let's see what Oregon's talking about. Hey, guys, happy Friday. You're not getting tired of French fries, Cody? Oh, no, Junior. How could I possibly get tired of these delicious free medium French fries? You can't hate it when it's free. Can I have one? Sure, just for $1 per fry. What, $1 per fry? Why? Well, because I'm selling them, like you said. I'm starting my own potato company or whatever. That only works if you have unlimited French fries. Well, it's kind of like having unlimited, except I only get one medium a week for a year. 
here. But that's still a lot of french fries. Well, I'm not going to buy your stupid french fries, Cody. Why don't you just try to redeem them all at once? I don't think they'd let me do that. Wait, would they let me do that? Wait, hold on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that. <sighs> I'll play Qbert. This stupid packaging, Joseph, I can't open it. Yeah, me either, dude. Hey, guys. Did you get all the french fries? No, they told me to read the card, and the card says one free medium order of fries every week up to a year. So I just gotta take it one week at a time. They wouldn't let you get all the fries just right now? Nope, so I'm just gonna have to have one box of medium free fries every week. You're really gonna get it every single week? Yes, I am. Every week, I'm gonna have a box of fries, at least once a week. No, really, I'm really gonna do that. Every single week, I'm gonna have a box of fries with me. And if you don't see me with a box of fries at least once a week, then you can yell and scream in the comments and be mad at us, but I'm gonna do it. I'm really gonna do it. Yeah, we'll see, Cody. Guys, what do you want to do today? Dude, we should play cops and robbers. That would be so fun. Yeah, we could tie Ken up as a hostage and spank him. We're playing cops and robbers, Cody. Yeah, we're not doing that. No one's getting spanked. You guys take the fun out of everything. I want to be a robber. Me too. I guess I'll be a cop. I totally thought you want to be a robber, Joseph. Why? Is it because I'm black, huh? I can't be a good guy like a cop. Oh, no, no. I just thought you wanted to be a robber since you, you like to steal things. Yeah, you know. You know I like to be bad. I'll be a bad guy. But it's not because I'm black. Okay, so now we need someone to be the cop. Cody, you got to be the cop. What? No, I want to be a robber so I can tie Ken up and spank him. We all can't be robbers, Cody. You have to be the cop. But what reason would a cop possibly have to spank someone? Well, maybe you're interrogating Ken because you think he's a robber, so you spank him to get answers out of him. No, that would be a total abuse of my power. I'd get fired. It works much better if I'm a robber. Okay, so for all robbers, then who's going to be the cop? Uh, you could ask Chef Bibi to be a cop. He'd love to play. Yeah. Chef Bibi! Oh, what do you want, Junior? We're playing cops and robbers. We need you to be the cop. I'm not going to be a cop for this stupid game. Bye. Okay, so Chef Bibi is the cop. But he, he just said he wasn't playing. He's totally just joking around. He's totally going to be the cop. He's going to go put uniform on right now. Okay. Okay, so uh, Cody, me, Joseph, and Jeffy are going to be the robbers, and we need you to be the hostage. Wait, 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 wait. I thought I was a robber. No, you and Ken gotta be hostages. You wanna get spanked, right? Yes, very much. Okay, so you're gonna be the teller at the bank, and we're gonna come rob you, and we're gonna kidnap you and Ken as a hostage, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, let's go be robbers, guys! Yeah! All right, guys, we're gonna bust into this bank, put a gun to the teller's head, and say, bitch, put all the money in the bag, or you're gonna die today. Yeah, and then put a bullet straight in between their eyes. <laughs> no, 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 we're not, we're not killing anyone, Joseph. No, 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 we have to kill a hostage just to show them we're not playing. Well, no, 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 we're gonna grab two hostages, and we're not gonna kill them unless we have to. You know, it's, it's cops and robbers, not cops and murderers. But why is the gun loaded, huh, if we're not gonna hurt anybody? And just in case we have to, in case the cops come. Listen, Joseph, we're not I, I really think we should hurt somebody. We're, we're, we're not hurting anyone. Listen, listen, I'm gonna bust the door down. We're gonna rob this bank, okay? Okay. Ow! Dude, Damn. What's this door made out of? Cardboard. I hurt my shoulder. Okay, we're gonna bust that go! I'm sorry, sir. It doesn't matter how much you flex your muscles at me. It's bank policy. No shirt, no serving. Everyone on the ground, there's a stick up! Oh my god, a robbery! I'm calling the cops! Stop, bitch! What? Ken, no! You were only supposed to spank him! Why'd you kill him, Joseph? Dude, he was asking for it! And we gotta show him we're not playing! We ain't playing! 911, what's your emergency? Put the cash in the bag right now, bitch! And no funny business, no die packs, no silent alarms, or you will get a bullet in your head. You got that? Yes, I understand. Oh my god, man, we're on our way. Yeah. Put the cash in the bag right now! Right now! JT Wentworth, 877 cash now, ho! Okay. Go, 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 put the money in the... Put the, go, hurry, hurry yeah, up! Right now! You can have the money, just please don't spank me. Just spank him, dude. <sighs> Oh no, don't spank me. Oh no. I'm not I'm not doing it anymore. Oh come on, one more. Oh the alarm's going on! You, you pulled the alarm! I told you don't do it, man! Oh, don't, don't kill her, don't kill her. She's our last hostage! Okay, wait, we're gonna take her with us. Okay, Joseph, you grab the money, I'm gonna grab the hostage. Oh, I got the money. Come with us, come with us. Yeah. Let's go, let's go before the cops get here. Dude, look at all this cash. We're gonna be rich! You better not scream or say a single word. Ooh, don't shoot me, Daddy. That's hot. Look, Jeffy, make sure she doesn't talk. I got you, Junior. Say a word. Say a single word, and I'll blow your brains out, and you'll never see your family again. Jesus. Look, come on, Jeffy. We, we gotta go. Make my day, ho. Uh, Jeffy, they're leaving. Come on, Jeffy. Let's go. Sorry, sorry, sir. I just got a call. We got a code black. An armed robbery in progress. Did they take any hostages? Well, they killed one, and they took another one. Jesus. Officer Simmons! Yes, sir? Assemble the Avengers. I'm sorry, sir, but the Avengers aren't real. Damn. Well, at least get me Iron Man. He's dead, sir. Uh, I'm not caught up on the movies. Okay, look. You two are my only officer, so how are we gonna find these robbers? Well, I guess I could track the hostage's phone. Maybe we could find their hideout that way. Good. I want you to find these robbers and kill them. 
Kill them, son? You don't want us just to arrest them? No, I don't want to waste taxpayer money on these bozos. I want them dead! I want their families dead! I want their house burned to the ground! Oh, oh okay, sir. What are you two still doing here? Get out, go! It's okay. Okay, we made it back to the house. Did the cops follow us? No, dude, no one followed us. We're safe. Let's start counting that cash, please! Yeah, let's count this cash! What do we do with the hostage? Oh, dude, we should kill her right now. No, 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 what if the cops come? We need a hostage. Dude, we're safe and sound. The cops aren't showing up here. Boys, boys, whatever you do, don't have your way with me. Yeah, shoot her right now, dude. Yeah, I'm a shooter. No, 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 l l listen, you already have so many charges, what's one more? And besides, if you guys go to prison, you'll never see a woman ever again, so... <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, the cops are here! Dude, I'm not going to jail, I can't go down like this! Hey, not yet, we're busy! Oh, no, 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 okay, let, let's go to the cops, and let's tell them that we have a hostage. If they try anything funny, we'll blow our brains out! Okay, dude, let's uh, go! Let's go, come on! We have the place surrounded. Come out with your hands up or you will be shot! I thought the boss wanted us to kill him. I know, but I'm trying to get him out here so we can shoot him. We're not playing around! Come on out here! Man, Chef Peepee's really into his cop character. Yeah, dude. Uh, Junior, that doesn't sound like Chef Peepee's voice. It's Chef Peepee's cop voice. You never heard it before? Bro, he deserves an Oscar. Ooh, Joseph, you should go out there and shoot at Chef Peepee. Ooh, I like that idea. Wish me luck, dude! Alright, die, cop! Junior, did, did Joseph really just get shot? No, Cody, we're playing pretend cops and robbers. Chevy doesn't really have a gun. That's that's clearly just sound effects he's using out loud. And he doesn't have a real gun. It's just Chef Pee Pee. You know, we're just playing a game, Cody. Man, Chef Pee Pee's going pretty hard. We killed your friend. Just come out now or you'll be dead too. Uh, Junior, I'm starting to think those are really cops and they really just shot Joseph. Cody, just because Chef Pee Pee's going extra hard for his role and you're not even trying, don't say anything. But not even trying, Junior. You're the one who didn't want to spank me or have your way with me. I'm obviously a hostage that has Stockholm Syndrome. Now bang me. What are you brats yelling about in here? Chef Pee Pee, what are you doing inside the house? You're supposed to be out there being the cops. I told you I'm not playing that stupid game with you. Wait a minute. If you're in here, then that means... Uh-oh. Wait, Chevy B, so you're not the cops outside right now? Wait, wait, the cops are outside? What are they doing here? Well, that's supposed to be you. I thought that was you. I was in the kitchen the whole time. But that means whoop-dee-doo. Wait, 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 wait. So, Chevy B, we were playing cops and robbers. Hey, Cody, how'd the cops get called? Well, maybe when I was pretending to dial 911 during the robbery, I actually called them. Oh, no. Chevy B, I need your help. Uh, the, the cops actually think we're real robbers right now. Can you tell them we're not? All right, Brass, I can help you out. It's just a misunderstanding. I can talk to them. Okay, thank, thank you. All right, Mr. Officers, it's just a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. Oh, what are we gonna do, Chevy? We just died. I'll go talk to him. No, no, Chevy, no, 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 they do not want to talk to us. They're just trying to kill us. They think we're real robbers. Okay, we have to go upstairs right now. Let's go! All right, we killed another one of your friends. You want to come out here and make it three? I don't think they're going to fall for it a third time, mate. Yeah, you're right. But listen, there can't be that many more left. I mean, there's got to be like one, right? Yeah, you just want to bust in there and 2v1 them? Yeah, I think we can take them. Yeah, it's no building and all I got is a blue pistol. <laughs> yeah, we're not noobs. All right, hold on. Let me go grab my gun out of the car. All right. Guys, what are we going to do? Well, I'm the hostage, so I'm good. I'm just going to sit back and eat my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week for a year. <laughs> Shit. But Jeffy, we have to get out of these robber outfits, because that's how they're going to know we're the robbers. Good thinking, Junior. Hey, what about the money? What about it? When you're rich like this, you don't check the forecast, every day it's going to rain. Bit, bit, bit. We'll have to get rid of the money, because if they see the money, they're going to know we're the robbers. So, so, Jeffy, you hide the money and get out of your outfit, okay? All right, Junior. <laughs> Where the hell is my gun? What? Check it. No, it's not in there. Where the hell is it? Come on! Hey, mate, what's taking you so long? I have misplaced my gun. I don't know where the hell it is. Well, did you check the glove compartment? Did you check the glove compartment? Yes, obviously I checked the glove compartment. Well, did you check underneath your seat? Yes, I checked underneath the seat. All I found was these stupid leftover cheese curds, and, man, I'm actually getting pretty hungry. Well, mate, you can eat the cheese curds after we kill these guys. Come on! I don't know, Simmons. I don't think I can kill these guys without some cheese curds in my belly. Oh, you're probably right. Enjoy your curds, mate. Thank you. I will. Okay, we took the robber outfits off, now we don't look like robbers. What'd you do with the money? I put it in the offshore bank account so no one can track it. Okay, good. So now we just go out there and tell the cops that we're not the robbers and they'll let us go. Well, they shot Chef Pee Pee and he wasn't dressed like a robber. <laughs> You're right, they did shoot Chef Pee Pee and he was just in a chef outfit. Okay, how do we get him not to shoot us? Well, you guys could dress up like girls, then they'd think you were hostages. Oh, <gasps> Jeffy, we have to dress up like girls like Cody and they'll think we're hostages, it's a good idea! Yeah, I'm gonna have big floppy knockers! Okay, let's go dress up like girls. Mm. Man, those cheese curds were delicious. There 
is my gun! <laughs> hey Simmons, guess what I found? Oh, you found your gun, mate. Where was it? It was right under the cheese curd. Oh, well then good call on eating those curds. Now <laughs> let's go kill these guys. Yeah, come on. Okay, me and Jeffy are dressed up like female hostages, so we're gonna get saved. We're not gonna get shot like Joseph or Chef Pee Pee. Hey, you guys wanna see a tough muff? That's pretty tough. That, that's a power move. Yeah, I should have laid on the first date. So look, now that we're girls, no one's gonna kill us. And they're definitely gonna save me first because I'm the hottest. Wait, no, 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 no. I think we can all agree I'm the hottest. No, you look like a nerdy librarian. Well, yeah, guys have nerdy girl kinks. No, guys go for hot blondes. That's why I'm a blonde. You look like Joe Dirt. You look like you don't wash yourself. You look like you have a hairy butthole. Guilty as charged. You look like you take up the rum. Guilty as charged. Oh, well, listen, they're gonna save me first because I'm the hot blonde. No, I'm the hottest. Well, what do I look like? You look like the, a scary girl who died in a horror movie because she fell into a well. Facts. All right, look, let's just sit here, and when the cops get here, we'll ask them who they think is the hottest. Okay. Help! 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 All right, Simmons, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay, go! <laughs> oh, flashback! Go, 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 go! Careful, Simmons, they could be anywhere. Come on out! are in here. Ladies, you okay? All in. Uh, yeah, well, we're doing really good. Well, where are the robbers? Are they still here? Uh, well, there were only two robbers, and I think you already killed them. Well, you hear that, Simmons? There were only two robbers, and we killed them. Oh, the boss will be happy about that, mate. Yeah, I think our work here is done. I mean, you ladies are sure you're okay? Yeah, we're okay. I got a wicked camel toe. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I guess we should just go, then. Wait, 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 officer. Which one of us is the hottest? Oh, well, to be completely honest, all three of you are extremely ugly. What? He definitely thought I was hottest. No, I was hottest. Babu, bab, bab, babu. So, guys, what do you want to do today? I'm getting kind of hungry. Me too, dude. Yeah, I guess I'm hungry also. Me four. So what do you want to eat? You want to go to McDonald's and get some Happy Meals? Sounds like a plan, Junior. Yeah, let's do it, dude. What? The news is on. You guys, the news is on. Junior, turn up the news. I need to hear it. Okay, damn. Breaking news, okay? McDonald's is now offering adult Happy Meals. Happy Meals for adults. You must be 18 years or older to purchase these Happy Meals. If you are caught purchasing or eating these adult Happy Meals under the age of 18, the penalty can be up to a year in jail. Adult Happy Meal? Dude, I wish I could have one. Yeah, me too. But guys, we're not 18 yet. They're adult Happy Meals for a reason. We're just going to have to stick to little baby bitch meals until we turn 18. Well, I'm 18 years old, so I can have an adult Happy Meal. Lucky. That's so crazy. It's not fair you get to have one and we can't. Wait, we're hanging out with an 18-year-old? Wait, what if Jeffy goes and buys the adult Happy Meals for us? Yeah, I'll drive. But guys, that's illegal. If we get caught, we're going to go to jail. God, ow, I hate you. Shut the Help up. Ow, shut, ow, shut up! Shut up! Damn it! Yeah! God, we're gonna go do something cool! We need a Don't Happy Meal! Just stop saying things and come on! Okay. I'm so excited to get the Don't Happy Meal. Me too, Junior. Make sure mine's nuggets. Mine too, dude! Alright, check it. We're all adults, so can I get four adult Happy Meals, all with chicken nuggets and Sprite, and of course you know we want that honey mustard. It's so cool. Four happy, adult Happy Meals. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Yeah? They're not against with honey mustard and Sprite. Absolutely. Uh, what if they ID us? We're not 18. Shut up, Cody. Oh, hopefully they don't ID us. I know, Boy, you better hide in the back, Junior. Okay. All right, they're, they're, right they're not going to ID you. That's so cool. <laughs> I can't believe we got our adult Happy Meals. They didn't even ID us. I know, Junior. Let's sing the We Got Adult Happy Meals song. We just got adult Happy Meals and we are going to eat them. Yes, we are going to eat them. Yes, we are going to eat them. Yes, we are going to eat them and they're going to be delicious. <laughs> Wait, what's that noise? Oh my god, you guys, it's the cops! We're getting pulled over! Run, nigga! Uh, dispatch, I'm trying to pull over a car with an expired tag, but stand by. It doesn't look like they're pulling over. Ah, Jimmy, the cops! Pull over! No, dude, you're not gonna outrun them! What? What? Uh, no, pull over! <laughs> Yeah, Jeffy, keep going. I'll bust a few shots at him to scare him away. What? You never take me alive. Die, bitch. Jesus Christ, dispatch, they're shooting at me. I need backup. <laughs> I'm all out of ammo. Jeffy, pull over. We're going to run for it. All right, Josh, if I'm pulling over. Yeah, pull over, pull over, pull over. Okay, okay, I think they're pulling over. I don't know what they're doing. I'm, I'm going to proceed with caution. Okay, everyone run! Grab your Happy Meals! I'm out of here, dude! Uh, guys, my seatbelt's stuck, hell! Wait, where'd you put your seatbelt on? He was driving crazy, I didn't want to go through the windshield! Oh, Cody, it's stuck! The cops are right there, I gotta run, I gotta run! Uh, no! Oh, they got into the car, they're running! I'm pursuing on foot! 
Hey, 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 hey. Dude! Oh, dude, the cop's getting Cody! Just leave him, leave him, leave him! No, he's gonna snitch! Cody would not do that. Dude, he's the biggest snitch I know! You're, you're right, we have to go get Cody. Yeah, he can't take all three of us! Let's go! Aha! Caught by the seatbelt, huh? Well, you and your friends are in a lot of trouble. But if you snitch, I'll let you go. Ow! 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 Time up, guys! Time up, time up, time up! Get in there! All right, now let's go home and eat our adult Happy Meal. Yeah! Sit down right there and shut up while we eat our adult Happy Meal. Yeah, punk. What, you guys kidnapped the cop? Yeah, we didn't want to arrest you. But guys, now our charges are going to be ten times worse than they already were. What were our charges going to be before? Well, before it was just going to be us getting these adult Happy Meals, but now it's kidnapping, eluding the police, shooting at the police, assault and battery, and expired tags. Well, look, now we have to kill him because you said you admitted to everything in front of him. Ooh, dude, where's the baseball bat? Well, Joseph, before we kill him, let's eat our adult Happy Meal. Ooh, yeah. Well, what toy did we get? Ooh, cool. I got the hamburger. Oh, I got an old ducky high on quack. Oh, I got a french fry guy. Oh, wait. They didn't give me a toy! Junior, how would an adult react? I'm gonna go home and beat my wife. Exactly. Okay, you know what? Actually, go back to being a kid. <laughs> They didn't give me a toy in my adult happy meal. Yeah, that's actually better. Ugh, it's dumb. This adult thing is stupid and dumb. Yeah, I don't really get why these can't be for kids. And I also don't really get why he has four eyes and looks like he was drawn by a five-year-old. These adult happy meals are dumb. Maybe the food tastes different. Maybe, maybe it tastes like for adults. Well, ma'am, I don't know how to tell you this, but your husband's been kidnapped. <gasps> and we don't even know if he's still alive. <laughs> There, there, ma'am. If you ever need a rebound, I'm available. Everyone, back off! She's mine! I've been waiting for this moment for years! Karen, if you ever need a pelvis to cry on, mine's freshly shaved. I don't think I'm ready to move on just yet! Oh, sure you are! Sure you are! Listen, why don't we go back to my place and grab some drinks, maybe some orange juice? I don't think that sounds safe for me! Oh, it's gonna be super safe. We'll just stick to missionary. Okay, everybody get the hell out of my office! Ugh, this chicken nugget doesn't taste any different than a normal Happy Meal. Yeah, and these fries are no different than the free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. Which I guess I'll have next week, because I have these right now. I mean, the toy's pretty cool though, dude. Look, I'm a french fry man. <laughs> His name is not french fry man. His name is Cactus Buddy. What? He doesn't even look like a cactus, dude. He looks like a french fry. I, I have no idea what's going on. <gasps> the news! Yeah! Breaking news, okay? A police officer has been kidnapped. If you've seen this police officer, call 911 immediately. The kidnappers are believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. Yeah! Junior, did you hear the news? You hear what they said on the news, Junior? You hear it? You hear the news? Yes, Cody, I heard the news. You did? You heard the news? Yeah, they're looking for the cop that we kidnapped. Yeah, guys, we're gonna go to jail for a million, billion, bajillion years. No, we're not, Cody. No one's ever gonna find out the cop is here. Well, how, Junior? We can't keep him here forever. Sure we can. We can take care of him. We can feed him adult Happy Meals. We can feed him French fries and chicken nuggets. Or we could just eat them like Jeffrey Dahmer did. Did someone say Jeffrey? No, he said Jeffrey. Oh, close enough. No, 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 no one's eating anyone. Listen, we can take care of them, guys. Like taking care of a baby. All we gotta do is feed him and he'll be good. Okay? Well, wouldn't you like that little fella? <laughs> Look at that. He's nodding his head. He's so happy. Guys, I don't want to be a part of this. I'm getting out of here before the cops come, what? but I'm taking the Hamburglar with me. What? Don't take the Hamburglar. That's the coolest one. Yeah. Ugh. All right, let's take the duct tape off of them and see if we can reason with them. Okay, dude. Uh, uh, you kids aren't going to get away with this. I've seen your faces. Dude, he's really pissing me off. Can I kill him now? Well, no, we're not going to kill him. We're going to work out a deal. Why are you so cranky, Mr. Officer? Do you want a chicken nugget or a french fry? No, I do not want a chicken nugget or a french fry. You guys kidnapped me. I want you to let me go. We're not going to let you go because then you're going to arrest us. Yes, I will. Well, then there's no reason for us to let you go because you're going to arrest us. Uh, okay, well, maybe I can talk to the judge and get you a lighter sentence. That's not good enough. Yeah, I need $50 million, a private jet, and two tickets to see drinking concert. What? That's completely unreasonable. I can't get those things. Well, well, just the two tickets to see drinking concert then. How about you just drop our charges and we'll let you go? But no, I can't do any of that. Okay, then we're not gonna let you go until you drop the charges. And you sign a contract saying you're not gonna arrest us. And it's notarized. What? Nobody's gonna notarize anything if they see me tied up. Well, then I'll get a blind notary. What, what would be the point of a blind notary? Well, I don't know. Jeffy, do you know a notary? Yeah, I know a notary. I'll go get him. Alright, well, he's gonna go get a notary. You're gonna notarize a document saying you're not gonna arrest us. Yeah. Hey, Junior, I think I found your notary. When I I asked him if he was a notary, he went, uh-huh. Uh -huh. What? No, you have to get out of here. You're part of the bad company that tried to sue us. Well, no, he's actually owned by Microsoft. He is? Yeah, he's owned by Rare, which is a subsidiary of Microsoft. But his first game was on the 64 console. Yeah, but then Microsoft bought the rights to him. That's why the third game is so shitty on the Xbox 360. But he's in the new Smash fighting game. Well, yeah, but I'm pretty sure we're in the clear. Well, no, I don't want to risk it. You should just get out of here. I don't, I don't want to get sued. Uh-huh. 
Okay, so what are we gonna do now? Wait, what kind of toys did you guys get with these adult Happy Meals? Uh, we got the Cactus Buddy, we got the Birdie, and we got the Hamburglar. Well, you got the Hamburglar? That's super rare. I want one of those. Well, well Cody has it, and he left. Well, okay, okay, I'll tell you what. If you can get me the Hamburglar, I'll pretend none of this ever happened, and I'll drop all the charges. Oh, but, but, but Cody has the Hamburglar at his house. Look, if you can get him from your friend, then we can have a deal. Well, okay, guys, we have to go to Cody's house to get the Hamburglar, because he'll drop all the charges. Okay, dude. Okay, that was a good distraction. Now get me the hell out of here! Alright guys, we're gonna knock on the door, Cody's gonna give us the hamburger, and they're gonna drop all the charges. Alright, let's do it! Hello? Oh, Tyrone, come look! Christmas carolers, they're early! Ooh, Christmas carolers! Wait, wait, sing the one with the red nose! It's October. Sing it! Up, uh, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer! Had a very no, 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 it's all wrong, it's off key, damn it. Now bring me some Jeffy pudding. Ooh, I like this bring one. Listen, listen, we're not Christmas carolers, we're here to see Cody. Oh, he's in his bedroom with his new dolly. Yeah, we want to go see him. Oh, no, no, when Cody gets a new dolly, he likes to, uh, Touch it. Mm-hmm, yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. Well, he said that we could come see it. Oh, okay, he's experimenting with something new, come right in. Okay. Oh, what freaky. Oh, Hamburglar, what secrets do you have in your mind? Hey, Cody. What, guys, what are you doing here? You didn't bring the cops here, did you? No, but we need the Hamburglar back. But no, he's mine! But the cops said if we give him the Hamburglar, he'll drop all the charges. Well, of course he said that. This is the coolest toy. Well, look, we have to take it because one of the charges dropped. But no, I'm not letting you have him. Joseph, Jeffy, tackle him. But no, 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 no. Oh, hold him down. Me. Get off me! All right, Cody, I'm going to go give the toy to the cop, and when the charges are dropped, we'll come back. No, no, my Hamburglar! Bring me back my Hamburglar! All right, Simmons, when they get back, we're going to tackle them and arrest them. Well, how many are there, mate? There's four. I get two, you get two. Well, what if they're really strong? They're not strong, Simmons. They're kids. Well, they were strong enough to kidnap you and tie you up. Yeah, well, don't worry about it, Simmons. We got this. Okay, they're coming. Hide. All right, I got the hamburger toy. Wait, where'd the officer go? Get him, Simmons. <laughs> I'm under arrest. I thought you could kidnap me, huh? Where are your friends? <laughs> they already left the country. Well, it looks like you're getting all the charges then. Cuff them, Simmons. I don't have any handcuffs. Wait, really? You don't have any handcuffs? No. I don't want to go to jail. Yeah, well, maybe you should have thought about that before you got those Happy Meals and you fleed from me and you beat me up and you kidnapped me and you, you did all that. Oh, look, I got you the hamburger toy. You said you'd leave me alone. You think I care about this stupid little toy? Well, look, we got to work out a deal. I won't last a day in jail, please. Hmm, work something out, huh? Like like some kind of game? Okay, I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. If you can guess what that number is, I'll let you go. Uh, 7? Damn it. Um, if you can guess that number again, I'll let you go. Uh, 7? Damn it! Oh, come on, I didn't think you'd guess 7 again. I thought it was being tricky. Okay, if you can guess that number a third time, I will let you go. Uh, 4? Ha! It was 3! You suck balls! What? Suck balls says what? What? You suck balls! You're under arrest! Ha ha! Oh, come on! You said if I got you the hamburger toy, you would drop all the charges! Then you actually believed me? Did you really say that, mate? What? That if the kid got you the hamburger toy, you'd let him go. Well, yeah, but I needed a distraction. Well, you like... can't just lie to the kid like that. That makes you a liar. Is that really the example you want to set for children? Well, no, Being a but... liar? No, but I mean... It... You know if you're a liar, Santa Claus won't come see you, mate. No, but I got such a long list this year. Well, then you need to do the right thing and tell the truth. <sighs> Okay, fine, I guess you can go, and I'm gonna drop all the charges, and blah, 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 and all the noise, 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 and the last can of hoo hash. Okay, so I'm free to go? Yeah, I guess so. But mate, the captain wanted us to arrest someone. Hmm, well, I guess we could arrest the Hamburglar. We could just say he was trying to burgle my hamburgers. Well, your mom was trying to burgle my hamburgers last night. Oh, come on, Simmons. All right, let's get out of here, mate. Okay, kid, we're leaving, but I'm gonna leave you with this. <clears throat> no! Bear it! Stop it! Knock it off! Man, Marvin, thanks for inviting me over. You know, I don't really have that many friends, so it's really great to just have a boys' night. Can you take your drink off the table? I don't want it to spill. Oh, yeah, sure, I will. Right after I make this shot. Okay, red ball in the corner pocket. Hey, Danny, what you doing? <sighs> Marvin, get your kid. Jeffy, go away. We're trying to play pool. Can I play? No, we're having a boys' night. Well, I'm a boy. Well, we're having a big boys' night. I'm a big boy. Okay, then we're having a boys who have hair on their peepees night. Well, I got a bush like a porcupine. Well, okay, th th then we're having a boys who've had Vasectomy's night, huh? Huh? Have you, please? Jeffy, just go away. Well, what you trying to do? I am trying to hit the white ball and use it to knock the red ball into the pocket. Oh, that's easy. Oh, yeah? You think that's easy? Well, it's not. Not for a kid like you, but it's easy for me because I'm a professional. Check this out. Damn it! Damn it! I, I, can't, I can't believe I did that! I mean, I had a perfect shot! <sighs> 
breathe, just breathe, Brooklyn guy. That's what my therapist says. I have to breathe whenever I get into situations like this. And I have to drink. I can't believe you missed that. That was super easy. Oh yeah? If you think it's so easy, why don't you do it? How about this? I'll give you 10 bucks if you can make that shot. Okay, bet. Okay, bet. Hey, Danny, is this how I'm supposed to hold it? <laughs> Look at Stupid over here. He doesn't even know how to hold the stick. Jeffy, you're supposed to use the other side. I don't want to use the skinny side, Danny. The women prefer the big side. But Jeffy, you're supposed no, to- No, 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 let, let him do it like this. Let him look stupid. Go on, kid, make the shot if it's so easy. All right, Jeffy, look, you're supposed to hit this white ball to hit the red ball to go in here. All right, let me line it up. Well, ow, Jeffy, not me! Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're supposed to hit the balls, stupid! Don't you know what balls look like? You should have two of them! Alright, well, let me try again! Yeah, yeah try, Jeffy, try it again. Alright, let me line it up. And... <laughs> How'd you do that? Oh, man, I got all the balls in. I must not be that good at this game. No, are you kidding me? You're amazing. I've never seen anyone do that before. Well, Jeffy, how did you do that? I just hit the ball with my stick. Well, th 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 that's gotta be luck. I mean, th there's no way you could do that again. I can do it again. Really? D okay, well, let me set up the balls. I gotta see this. All right, the balls are set up. If you can knock them all in in one shot again, I'll give you a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks? He's not gonna do it. <sighs> Jeffy, you got this? I got it, Daddy. Your box, please. How is this possible? Like, is, is he some kind of pull shark? Did you know about this? Did you make me think he was bad at pull just so I bet money? I didn't know he was this good. Oh my god, we, we have a huge opportunity here. We could be rich. Well, how? Well, we could invite people over here to play pool against your son, right? And then we tell them that your son is bad at pool, so they bet money that they can beat him. And then he just goes ape shit and gets all the balls in like he just did. And then we just rake in all the cash. That's an amazing idea, but how are we going to find people that want to verse Jeffy and pool? Oh, don't worry. Once I make it commercial, everyone's going to want to play him. Oh, okay. Go make the commercial. Yeah, I will. Um, where's my hundred bucks? Oh, yeah, yeah the hundred bucks here. Yeah. Um, let go of it. It's all I have. <clears throat> Please. Well, we're gonna make more money back. Okay, I guess you're right. Jeff, you're so good at pool. I know. Get out of the way. The commercial's about to come on. Hey, I was watching that. Hey, I was watching that. Oh my God, you're married to this? Oh, the commercial's on. Hey there, do you suck at pool? Well, not as much as this kid. Say the thing. I suck. See, he sucks. I've been killing this kid at pool. I bet him a hundred bucks that I could beat him. Go ahead, Jeffy, it's your turn. Okay. See that? He just pocketed the eight ball. What an idiot. Pay up. Okay. Here you go. Look, just like that, I made a hundred bucks. Playing this kid in pool is like printing money. So if you think you can beat this kid, and you got a lot of money to spend, come on down and play this kid in pool. I guarantee you'll win. Yay, I was in a commercial. Damn, I look good on TV. I mean, I know they say the camera adds 10 pounds, but I think it's to my wiener area. Marvin, what was that commercial all about? Oh my God, does she ever stop talking? Nag, 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 nag. Baby, look, Jeffy's really good at pool, so he made a commercial saying he's bad at pool, so people will come play him and bet a lot of money, and then Jeffy will beat him, and we'll make a lot of Money. So you're gonna con people out of their money? Aren't they gonna get angry? <laughs> Can you even understand what she's saying? Oh my god, you're so rude. Like that, I got nothing there. Baby, look, what we're doing is completely legal and we're just having fun. We're gonna make a little bit of cash. Marvin, you're gonna exploit our son. Do you want me to like do something about her? Cause I know a guy, I mean, I can... Baby, look, look just don't pay attention. Just, just watch your TV. Look, we're gonna go make some money. Okay, fine. Good luck finding your channel now. When are the people gonna show up? Don't worry, they'll be here. The commercial was perfect. People are gonna wanna play pool. Hey, Daddy, look at my blue balls. Why is one of them purple? Because I squeezed it too much. Jesus. Look, it's been over an hour. Yeah, you're right. It has been a while. But, I mean, why wouldn't people show up? I mean, that commercial was pretty good. Uh, we didn't put the address. What? We didn't put the address in the commercial. People don't know where to go. Oh, yeah, you didn't put the address in the commercial. No, we didn't. So now people are just driving around looking for pool. Well, go edit the commercial and put the address. Well, I can't do that. It already aired. Well, we'll air it again. Well, I already spent $5,000 to air it that one time. Why was it so expensive? Because it's during a football game on a Sunday. It's prime time. What are we going to do then? We got to make our money. Well, I mean, I guess we could just put a sign on your front door in case somebody drives by. What are the odds that someone drives by the house looking for pool? Oh, believe me, they're going to be speeding by. Go make a sign. Okay. <sighs> there. Now people will know where to show up. Okay, good. Okay, now that the sign's up, all we have to do is sit here and wait for people to show up so we can make our money. Heck yeah. You know, sometimes I wish I could blink. My eyes are so dry. Mine too. <clears throat> I told you that sign would work. 
All right, what chump's ready to be destroyed and pulled? Brooklyn guy? Jonathan, what are you doing here? Why are you wearing a towel? Well, I saw the sign for a pool tournament, and I'm really, really swimming, so I thought there might be some really hot babes here that would go skinny-dipping with me. <gasps> Is your wife here? No, Jonathan, not that kind of pool. I meant like billiards, like the game. Well, I can play billiards. Oh, yeah? You have any money? Well, you no, know, but ooh, how about every time I miss a shot, I have to take off a piece of clothing? I'm really bad. No, Jonathan, get out of here. No. We're going to need a different sign. Yeah, it's really on there. There, now there won't be any confusion. Bingo! We got someone! Alright, who wants it? Hello! Would you like to buy some Girl Scout cookies? What? Girl Scout cookies? What the? Get in here and get your ass kicked in pool! Excuse me, what? You heard me! Get in there! Are you gonna buy some cookies? Well, yeah, if you win! Now come on! Okay. So what are we doing? We're playing pool now. How much money you got? Um... Eight dollars. Eight dollars? How long you been selling cookies today? Eight hours? Eight hours? That's only a dollar an hour. Let's hope you're better at pool than you are selling cookies. You know what? We're wagering these cookies, too. All right, Jeffy, let her break. Okay. Uh, so what do I do? You hit the ball with the stick. Haven't you played pool before? Hurry up. I don't feel good about this. Oh, come on, man. This is how we make money. And cookies. She's just a little girl. No, 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 no. She knew what she was getting herself into when she rang the doorbell. She wanted this. I think she was just trying to sell cookies. No way, man. She saw the sign and she thought she could con us. She doesn't want us to know that she's secretly good at pool. She's trying to do the same thing we are doing. But we're smarter than that. That's why we're gonna win. Hurry up, punk! Okay. <laughs> Suck! You even know how to play? No. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's trying to con us. All right, Jeffy. Show her what you got. Let me show you how it's done. Yeah, it's my boy right there. It's my boy. Are you eating the cookies? Yeah. I don't know we're gonna win. All right. Prepare to lose. Damn! You lost. You suck. Oh, what's this? I'm gonna have one of your cookies. Oh, mm, 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 mm. oh your cookies are so good. Oh. Oh, oh, your eight dollars, yes. So what happened? What happened? You lost. That's what happened. Go back to pool school, loser. Learn some new tricks. You can't con a conner. Yeah, get to step and get out of here. Walk of shame. Man, that felt good. What? That was wrong. Wrong? Come on, buddy. There's nothing wrong about this. Look, have a cookie. It makes I, you I, don't want, I don't want to eat it. I, I, I want to cook it. It tastes good, right? It's the taste of victory. But, pff, no. Yeah, I know. They kind of taste like shit. But look, we got eight dollars. You know, we just do that a few more times. We'll have like 20 bucks. Well, uh, who's that? Another chump! Who's ready to go broke? Hey there. Oh, uh, hey. Well, Goodman. You know this chump? Uh, what are you doing here? Well, you see, I run the Girl Scout Cookie Foundation, and two of my girls showed up with no money and no cookies, saying that they were robbed. <laughs> robbed, yeah, okay. You should tell your little con artist to get better at playing pool. Pardon me? Yeah, they came ringing our doorbell and saying they were the best pool players there were. And we showed them, didn't we, Marvin? Uh, but not really. So you guys were playing pool? Yeah, you good? I'm really good. Good. Okay, well, put your money where your mouth is. Okay. All right, come on in. $100,000 that I win. M Marvin, Marvin, we're going to win $100,000. I don't think we should do this. What are you talking about? Your son's a god. Of course we're going to win. Well, what if we don't win? We're not going to lose. So where's your $100,000? Uh, oh, we, we have $100,000. Don't worry. Are you sure? Because all I see is $8 in a bag of my cookies. Well, that, that, that that's just chump change. Don't worry. We got it. We don't have $100,000. Shut up. He doesn't need to know that. So who wants to break? Oh, we do. We do. We want to break. Jeffy, come break. Let me show you how it's done. Woohoo! Yeah, go Jeffy! Alright, prepare to lose. No, 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 Marvin, we might lose. I just gotta line up my shot. Oh my God, Marvin, I think we're gonna lose. No, 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 he could miss this shot. It's a very long shot. I didn't know all of Jeffy's balls go in. Because your stupid cookie crumbs affected the ball. Damn it, they're not even that good. And bingo was his name out. <laughs> fuck. So how much money did you make, Marvin? We lost $100,000. What? You don't have hundred thousand dollars. Well, I didn't lose it. Brooklyn guy bet it, so he lost it. How's he gonna pay that back? I don't know. Hey, Danny, look. My head's a washing machine. What? Who's that? Hello? Hey. Say the thing. Hello. I'm selling Girl Scout cookies. Would you like to buy some? Wait, why are you doing this? I gotta make back that hundred thousand dollars somehow. Please buy some cookies.
All right, go, Daddy. All right, Jeffy, no more stickers. Well, I got one more flaw. My face is already covered. That's what she said. Come on, Marvin, just let him do it. Okay, hurry up. And there you go, Daddy. Flog. All right, no more stickers. Yes, more stickers. I got one more. No, Jeffy, put them on your body. All right, I'll put them on my butthole. Therefore, when I fart, stickers go everywhere. It'll be a sticky fart. There's someone at the door. Hold on. Hello? Hey, Marvin. You have your house payment this month? Uh, well, no, I don't have it. Oh, so you don't have enough money to pay me, but you have enough money to buy stickers and put them all over your stupid face. Well, no, no my, my, my son had the stickers. Listen, Marvin, I don't care. I'm tired of you being poor. So you know what I'm going to do? This is your nutsack. And if you don't have your house payment tomorrow when I come by, this is what I'm going to do to your nutsack. Look at your nuts, Marvin. Uh, house payment tomorrow. Uh, okay. <laughs> <sighs> Who's at the door, Marvin? It's Goodman, and he wants my house payment, but he's just so mean. Don't worry, Marvin. He's just a mean, rich man. He doesn't understand. I know, but he doesn't know what it's like to be poor. I just wish he knew what it was like to be poor. I'm gonna go wash these stickers off my face. Uh-oh! That don't like the sticker! Come on, Jeffy. Let's get ready for bed. Oh, <gasps> okay. Good morning, Rose. Rose? Who's Rose? Ah, who are you? My name is Starlight. We met last night. Well, I don't remember that. How'd you get my bed? Rose is going to be so mad. Good morning, sir. Ah, who are you? I'm Chives, your butler. What? Hung over again, I see. No, I'm not hung over. What are you talking about? I don't know what's going on. Sir, your name is Goodman. You're a trillionaire. And you're a dick. I mean, Goodman's body? Yes, sir, you you are Goodman. I don't know what's going on. Sir, shall I pay the lady for her services? You owe me $5,000. I don't have $5,000. Sir, yes, you do. It's right here. Now scram. Thank you. What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Listen, Chives, I don't know what's going on. I'm not Goodman. I'm not supposed to be in my body. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny, sir. No, no, I'm telling the truth. I'm not Goodman. I don't know what's going on. Shall I just bend over for my spanking now? Why would I spank you? Well, normally when I talk back to you, you give me a harsh spanking. I, I don't, I don't want to spank you. What? I, I, I think I love you. Shall I draw a bath, sir? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take a bath. That, that, that'll help me figure out what's going on. Very well, sir. I'm good, man. Look at all this money in the bed. What, what the? Well, I've never seen this much money in my life. I really just bathe in this? Yes, sir. It's all yours. Uh, do you want to join me? But really, sir? I've never been allowed to join you before. Yeah, jump in. The money's warm. Very well, sir. <sighs> hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny, you gotta mm. take me to school. Mm. What the? Who are you? You gotta take me to school. I'm not taking you to school. I don't even know who you are. Wait, what the? Is this Marvin's house? I must have fallen asleep here. Marvin, did you fall asleep on the couch again? Ew, fat! Marvin, you're so silly when you first wake up. Why do you poor people keep calling me Marvin? Because you are Marvin. What the? Oh, no. Oh, no! Ah! Bold! Bold and poor! What's wrong, Marvin? I'm bold and poor! You say that every morning. I used to be handsome! What happened? It's okay, Marvin. Get away from me, you fat cow! <laughs> move! 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 Here's your breakfast, sir. Filet mignon cooked medium and a loaded baked potato. Unfortunately, we don't have any peppercorns. Why are you showing me your butt? So you can spank me, sir. I said I wasn't going to spank you. Really? Yeah, and this, this breakfast is amazing. Do you want some? Oh, I'm not allowed to have any, sir. Normally, normally you just feed me kibble without the bits. No, no, you can have some of my steak. I'm not going to eat all of it. Really, sir? Thank you so much. Dad, 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 can I drop out of school and become a piece of shit? Yeah, sure. Really? You're the best dad ever! Yay, no school! Sir, I don't know what's gotten into you, but we love it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I love it too. Ah, why did this happen to me? Why am I in Marvin's poor fat body? I bet he's got a tiny wiener. Let me check. Ah, ah, tiny wiener! Why would God do this to me? I'm such a nice person. Wait a minute. If I'm in Marvin's body, that must mean he's in my body. I gotta call him and get my body back. Marvin, I think we should file for divorce. I think so too. You're just too fat. What? You're a fat cow. Give me my phone. I need to make a phone call. Okay, here. Fine. Go call your other girlfriends. <laughs> I think I might. All right, come on, me. Answer the phone. 
Ah, this is the life. Another glass of champagne, sir. No, thank you, Chives. You can have that glass. Wow, thank you, sir. Man, Goodman's life is amazing. Sir, you're getting a phone call. Just put it up to my ear. Very well, sir. Hello? Marvin? What, Goodman? Are you in my body? Uh... Yeah? Yeah, because I'm in your poor, short, fat, small wiener body. You have a small wiener, did you know that? Yeah, but, but listen, you have a big wiener, and, and I like your life, it's so amazing. I know my life is amazing, so give me my life back. No, I think I'm gonna stay in your body for a while. No, you give it back to me right now! Uh, the call's breaking up. That call is not breaking up, because that is a satellite phone. Uh, 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 Chives, hang up. Chives, don't you hang up on me! Huh? He hung up on me? Oh, if I ever get back in my body, I'm gonna make Chives walk around in a thong and I'm gonna give him a thousand spankings! Marvin, I made you some breakfast. I think you just woke up cranky. It better be filet mignon! Ew! What is this? Albino rabbit shit? It's Cheerios, Marvin, made with real honey. Where's my filet mignon? Good comedian rare! Peppercorn! You know we can't afford that, Marvin. Ew! I keep getting more and more poor! I'm gonna go to my mansion and see if I can get my body back. He's going through a midlife crisis! Marvin, you open this door right now! Hello? Chives, let me in my house. No, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I was given strict instructions not to let Marvin into this house. But I'm not Marvin. I'm Goodman, so let me in! Well, you certainly look like Marvin. Chives, as soon as I get back in my body, you're getting a spanking. Well, hopefully that never happens. Whoever's in your body right now treats me great. He treats you great? That can't be happening. Marvin, get down here right now! Oh, I'm sorry, sir. If you would like an appointment with Mr. Goodman, you'll have to call in and schedule it in advance. Unfortunately, he's booked by about three years. Good day, sir! Chives, don't you sign the door on my face! <gasps> oh man, this house is incredible. I could just lay here and relax all day. Um, excuse me, Mr. Goodman. I was wondering if maybe I could start wearing underwear now because it's getting kind of cold in the house. What? What? Why don't you wear underwear? Be because you told me not to wear underwear. Why? Why'd I do that? You know, for like Easy access. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can start wearing underwear. Definitely, you can start wearing it. <gasps> really? Let me thank you. What, what, are, you, what are you doing? Th I was going to thank you. What? That, that, you, you can just say thank you. But that's how you told me how to say thank you. No, 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 no. I, 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 I can just, I give you a raise. Oh, you have a raise? Let me, let me help you. No, 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 no. I, I meant like raise with, with money. Oh, you're going to pay me? I don't pay you. I mean, you sort of do, but it's only like five pesos per month. Okay, I'll, I'll start giving you. $3,000 a month. <gasps> really? Let me thank you. No, 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 no. I said I know what the thank yous. Look, look, I'm going to go uh, drive around in, in my car. Do you do you want me to thank you in the car? No, no. Just stay right here and do whatever it is you do. Okay, Mr. Goodman. Yeah, I'll see you later. See you later. Oh, wow. A real Lamborghini? And I get to drive it? This is so cool. Oh, my God. I've never driven a Lamborghini before. Let's start it. Oh. This is so cool. Okay, I'll drive really careful. Man, I love driving this car. I never want to go back to my old life. Goodman! Marvin, you get out of my car right now! Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Goodman. Your joyride is over. Take me back to your house so we can figure this out. Okay, oh, dang it. All right, Marvin, we're going to sit right here and figure out how to get me back in my body. Oh, hey, Marvin, I see you brought your lawyer, too. If we can just sign these papers, we can get this over with real quick. Wait, what's going on? Uh, Marvin's wife is divorcing him. Why? Because he keeps calling me a fat cow. Is she not? I'm doing you a favor, Marvin. I'm going to sign those papers. Well, no, 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 we don't want the divorce. Well, it's not really up to Marvin. She's divorcing him. Well, 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 maybe we can work something out. Well, no, I made it really easy for you. See this happy little font? It's called fairy tale ending. I, I know it's kind of ironic given the circumstances, but imagine if it's a divorce in big red letters. That'd be pretty sad. But this is like divorce. That's not so bad. Okay, but Marvin doesn't want the divorce. Oh, come on. Look, man, I know that divorce is scary at first, but after you get divorced, you can download Tinder and then get a piece of strange ass. And, and then you itch for the next few weeks. Post-nut clarity's a bitch. But, but then you find another woman and you get married to her and you do it all over again. It's a circle of life. Okay, but listen, I I'm not Goodman. I'm Marvin. Goodman's in my body. It's true. I'm bald and poor. What? Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me you switched bodies like some kind of Rob Schneider movie? Yes, and we don't know how to get back in our bodies. Well, that explains why Marvin was so mean to me. Yeah, I would never be mean to you, baby. So does anyone have any ideas how we can switch our bodies back? Well, in the movies, usually they miss their old life and learn a lesson, and then they switch back. Yeah, I miss my old life. I miss being rich. I want my body back. Well, I kind of like Goodman's life. So, I don't know, I mean, I guess I miss 
my old life. But but listen, can you like help, help us figure this out? Uh, look, man, I'm in lawyer mode right now, not magic mode. I don't even know how to do magic. This is a problem you got to take up with God. Hey, it's me. What's going on? God, we need your help. Yeah, I know. I heard. Okay, so me and Goodman switch bodies. We don't know what's going on. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I drank a lot of water last night, and I accidentally turned it into wine. I got pretty drunk. I thought it'd be funny to make you guys switch bodies. Well, can we switch back? Well, that depends. Did you learn your lesson? What lesson was I supposed to learn? Well, maybe now that you've seen how terrible Marvin's life is, you'll treat him better from now on. I agree. It is pretty shitty. He's poor, and he's married to a cow. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. So you're going to treat him better now? <sighs> I guess. I guess I'll treat him slightly better. Okay. Poof! Ah, in my back, in my back, in my body. Hold on, let me check. Oh yeah, I'm back. Big wiener in town. Ha ha, poor! I mean, slightly less fortunate. You know what, Marvin? With all the crap that you've been through, you don't have to owe a house payment this month. But I would recommend signing those papers. Thanks, I guess. Marvin, is that really you? Yeah, I'm back in my bald, fat body. Don't forget your small wiener. Yeah. Marvin, at least we have each other. Okay, well while you guys do that, I'm gonna go have my maid thank me. Oh man, guys, I'm so hungry. Yeah, I can't wait to eat my turkey panini. And I can't wait to eat my ham and bacon sandwich. Damn! Chicken! Chicken and mashed potatoes! Oh, there's mashed taters. Oh, you know there's mashed taters. Oh, give me some of them taters. Oh, you take some of my mashed taters? Bro, you take some of my mashed taters? No, oh, I love taters. Give me them taters. Cody, you can't have any of Joseph's taters. Uh, okay. All right, guys, let's eat our food. Chicken! Oh, I'm so full. Uh, uh. Beep! Oh man, that was a good panine. Cody, you didn't even burp. Uh, yes, I did. Didn't you hear it? You just said the word burp. Uh, okay, look, I can't burp, okay? It's a gastrointestinal problem. Oh. Joseph, do you like your chicken? Oh man, I love my chicken. I tore that thing off! Joseph, why are you talking like that? So what do you guys want to do for the rest of the day? Ooh, dude, let's play a game! Oh yeah, let's play pickleball. You suck ass at pickleball, Cody. What? You're such a dick, Junior. You're a dick. Yeah, well, you know what they say. You are what you eat. Ah! You're a turkey! Junior, you're a pig! Oh, Joseph, you're a chicken! Dude, you're Cody's mom! I guess I am Cody's mom. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> Guys, shut up! We don't have time to make fun of my mom. This is a problem. We're animals! Well, what do you think happened? I don't know. Wait, wait a minute. Cody, you said you are what you eat. I was making a wiener joke, Junior. If anything, I should be a wiener. But what if when you said you are what you eat, it turned us into what we ate? Because I ate a ham sandwich. Oh, and I ate turkey. Dude, I ate a chicken! Wait, that wouldn't make any sense, because I didn't eat big, fat whale, so I'm not Cody's mom. What, Junior, shut up! We have to figure this out! So should we call a doctor? Well, yeah, I'll get my phone. Hold on. Uh, uh, just... Uh, damn it, it's really hard to type in the numbers with my beak. Uh, I'll help, I'll help. <laughs> Hey there, somebody call an adorable doctor? You're a cat! Yeah, I know. I don't really know what happened. Well, my friend said, you are what you eat, and then we turn into the things that we ate. Oh, so it's like some kind of curse. Yeah, so why are you a cat? Well, I mean, I am an OBGYN, and I didn't wash my hands before eating, and I licked my fingers. Of course, I was eating Chinese food, so it could be either one. So do you know what we can do about this? This literally just happened, and it seems like some kind of magic, so no. I can actually do less now that I'm a cat. So we're just gonna be animals forever? <laughs> What? So, sorry, I... Look, I've never been able to lick my balls before, so I've just been going to town, and I guess I have a hairball now. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh, that is much better. Sorry about that. You see that? That is cat ball hair. So what are we gonna do now? I have no idea. Wait a minute, Cody. You said you are what you eat. So what if you said we aren't what we eat, and we go back to normal? Um, okay. You know, you know what they always say? You're not what you eat. Yeah, that didn't work. Maybe because that's not like a saying that people actually say. Like, obviously, you're not what you eat, duh. So we're gonna be animals for the rest of our lives? Yeah, I guess so. Wait, you have nine lives. Oh, that's right! Hell yeah! Oh, I can lick my own balls and I can die nine times? That's awesome! I'm gonna go run in front of a car. I'll see you guys later. Oh man, I wish I could lick my own balls. So guys, what are we gonna do? The news! Breaking news! It's me, Steve Squirrelberger. I got hit by a car on the way over here. Everybody in the world has turned into an animal for some reason. I was eating a squirrel burger, and now I'm a squirrel. Cody, you turned everyone in the world into an animal. Well, how was I supposed to know that was going to happen? I'm not the first person to ever say that. Oh, what are we going to do?
What do you think Chef Pee-Pee turned into? Probably a burnt casserole because he burns all his food. Ooh, let's go see, bro. Yeah, let's go see. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. I can't wait to eat my scrambled eggs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, Junior, Chef Pee-Pee's right there. How is he still a human? I guess he hasn't eaten yet. Dude, he's about to eat scrambled eggs right now. We need to stop him. Okay. <laughs> Chef Pee-Pee. No. Chick, you turn into a baby chicken. Wait, well, why would I turn into a baby chicken? Because you ate eggs. You are what you eat. Oh, that's so stupid and lame, Junior. Figure this out. What, 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 what happened? I, I don't know. It's like a curse that everyone turned into animals. You better turn us back right now, Junior. Figure this out. Well, it's not my fault. We're, we're gonna figure it out. Just hold on, Chef Pee Pee. <sighs> Guys, I wasn't able to stop Chef Pee Pee from turning into a chick. Well, maybe if you didn't jump in slow motion, you would have gotten there in time. Yeah, it took you forever, dude. I was just being dramatic. Yeah. So guys, what are we gonna do? We're animals! I don't know, Junior. I don't even have thumbs. This sucks. <gasps> do you think my dad turned into an animal? Oh, Junior, you should check and see if he's still human. You need to stop him. Okay! Dad, Dad, Dad! Oh my god. I must be tripping balls right now! Cause the woman from Charlotte's Web is talking to me in my room! Man, that's some pig. No, Dad, it's me, Junior! Wait, Junior? You're a pig? What happened to you? I don't know, but why are you a frog? I don't know. I was in here watching TV eating frog legs, and then the next thing you know, I'm a frog! Why do you eat frog legs, Dad? Uh, don't judge me. Look, it tastes like chicken. That's gross! It's good! Look, don't knock it until you try it! What? Ew, Dad! Weirdo. Oink. Was that a good oink or a bad oink? A bad oink. So is your dad human? No, he's a frog. Your dad eats frogs? He eats frog legs. Huh, never tried him. So what are we gonna do, Cody? We're animals! We can't be animals forever! I don't know. We don't know anyone else that's human. <gasps> oh my god, Junior, stop Cookie Monster! Huh? Cookie! No! no Cookie no, Monster! No, Please no. don't! Oh, oh god, no! I can't even watch! Oh. Jesus! Oh man, he turned into a cookie! Damn it, Cookie Monster! Damn you and your love of cookies! Oh, he was so innocent, dude! He's a cookie, though. That's what he would have wanted. Okay, Cody, listen, we gotta think of a way to fix this. You're the one who caused this with your stupid saying. Ooh, I have an idea. Okay, I, I said you are what you eat, right? Okay, so if we eat a human, that means we'll turn back into a human, right? <gasps> yeah, if we eat a human, we'll turn back into humans! Yeah! Well, we don't know anyone that's still human, though. Yeah, we have to find a human that hasn't eaten today. <gasps> a homeless man! <gasps> yeah, homeless people don't eat anything! They never eat, dude! Yeah, so let's go outside and find a homeless man and eat him! Yeah, okay. All right, let's go! <laughs> guys, 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 I found a homeless man over here! Oh, cool, let's eat him! <laughs> Turkey pig chicken. Uh, Cody, you go first. No, Junior, you go first. Okay, where do I even start? Uh... Ow, bad piggy. I tried biting his fingers. Dude, you gotta rip his arms off. Ugh, look, watch this. Ow, bad chicken. Ow, ow. Okay, you know what? I think we should go inside and do this, because I don't want people seeing us murder this man. Yeah, yeah. this could get messy. All right, all right, let's take him inside. <laughs> all right, so we're in the privacy of our own home, so now we can eat him. Uh, okay, Junior, go. Uh, I'm gonna try his ear this time. <laughs> Oh my god, Junior, you ripped his ear off. I don't like that he screamed ow. He's gonna scream ow, Junior, you just ripped his ear off. All right, Cody, you try to eat him. Okay, I guess I'll try down here. Oh god, Junior, he smells like shit. Pee pee in my pants. Oh, Junior, he peed his pants. I'm not eating him. This is gross. Dude, I'll eat him. No, I don't like trying to eat him, and who knows what kind of diseases he has. Yeah. All right, you know what? I'm gonna try his fingers one more time. Ow. Okay, you know what? Go, get out of here. <sighs> That's food, dude. Junior, I guess we're just not capable of eating a person. Yeah, it's just way too sad. Let's try something else. Oh, guys, look how late it is. We have to go to school tomorrow. Uh, let's just figure it out then. All right, I'll see you guys at school tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. Man, it's raining really bad outside. Hey, Penelope, or should I say Barackla P? Shut up, Junior. Yes, I'm a piece of broccoli. I had broccoli for dinner last night, and I woke up this morning, and I was a piece of broccoli. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry? What? Is this your fault? Yeah, I said you are what you eat, and now we are. Oh, so you had some turkey, I'm guessing? Yeah. And before you guess, no, I did not eat Cody's mom. It would have been a good guess, though. Oh, of course you had chicken. What's that supposed to mean, Penelope? All right, Cross. So last night when I was eating dinner, I turned into a dog. I don't know why. But since we're all animals, you can all go home. No class today. Yay! No 
to school today. <laughs> oink, 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 oink. Guys, school's out already. Oh, dude, we're going to go home and have fun. What fun can we have? We're animals. Let's go to my house and see if we can figure out how to be humans again. All right, guys, how are we going to become humans again? Junior, you keep asking that, but we don't have answers. Because I don't know what to do. Hey there. Who are you? Oh, uh, I'm Brooklyn guy. I, I, I was a cat, but I'm not anymore because I ate Stuart Little. You ate Stuart Little? Yeah, I saw him driving around in his little car, and I thought, if I eat him, I'll become him. So I ate him, and now I am him. I'm him. Himothy. Himmy Johns. Himmy Neutron. Himmy Hoffa. Himmy Kimmel. Himmy Turner. I, I'm, I'm him. I'm him. So what happened when you ate him? Oh, it was pretty graphic. I mean, I snapped his little neck with my teeth. There was blood everywhere. It, it was brutal. But hey, I'm him. Well... Do you think you can help us become humans again? Well, I think so, now that I can walk around and stuff. So what's your solution? Uh, well, have you tried eating a human? We tried eating a homeless man, but it was really sad. He kept screaming, ow, I ripped his ear off. <laughs> you should have let me do it. I'm capable of some pretty terrible things, apparently. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Cody, this is all your fault. You're the one that made all this happen. Well, I'm sorry, Junior. I'm only human. <laughs> Cody, you're human again! Well, I am? Oh my god, I am! Well, how'd that happen? Well, I guess what I said, I'm only human, I actually became human. Wait, so all we have to do is say that saying and we'll all be humans again? Yeah, I think we should try it. All right, let's all say it together. I'm, I'm only, only human. human. <laughs> we're all humans! Dude, we're all humans again! Destroy all humans. That was, that was a cool game. And destroy all humans too. That was awesome. You play as a little alien guy, you know? That was great. Anybody play that? You're still wearing Stuart Little's clothes. Yeah, yeah, and I like this shirt. I think I'm going to keep this. Screw Stuart Little. I wonder if I'm going to poop him out later. Oh, hold on. Ugh. Ugh. Man, I can't lick my balls anymore. Oh, wait, hold on. So how are we going to get the whole world to turn back into humans? They all have to say it. Oh, I'll just hold a press conference on the news and tell everybody to say I'm only human, and that'll turn everybody back. That's a good idea. But before you do that, there's something I got to do. Okay. Junior, what are you doing? Get off her! I'm eating broccoli! Oh, Junior, Junior. Chill, chill, kill me! What, that guy's still running around? What the hell is going on?
promise Son cuatro. 
encuentro mi hogar Un lugar de esperanza Donde puedo soñar Es un paraíso brillante Donde la puede volar Un mundo lleno de luz Donde puedo descansar Cada día es una fiesta Cada noche un sueño En este paraíso Todo es tan bello Así que busco este paraíso Con todo mi ser Un lugar de alegría Un lugar Strong and free where you belong 